Right. Real big bodies in there, Shane, when you look at the, the size of Harndorf. On, on this wing, we've got Matt Vergara for Harndorf and also Tom Worley in the lineup today on the wing. Right. As we said, Thomas has gone to fullback on Horrigan, which uh, they commit to that deep there. Travis Oakley is on Joel Leake, so another big matchup for today for the youngster. And, of course, uh, can't forget the third team, which is the umpires, Reese Williams, Brian Rule, and Mark Smith in charge of the Kluvenic, big game here. Kluvenick on Perling, that's a huge so matchup. umpire Mark Smith holds the ball off. We're away, 2018 Division One A grade grand final, Hills Football League. First bounce, big leap by Young. Robert stayed at the ground level, got the ball, but quick clearing kick away there by Amato for the Demons out towards the Zilla Pavilion, and the ball bounces over the line. So uh, first clearance of the game goes to the uh, Demons. So a boundary throw in just in front of the, uh, calling it the Zilla Pavilion again, Pistols. Absolutely. It'll be uh, Roberts up against Young in ruck. Of course, Matt Down not playing today. Roberts just paddles it towards the boundary line, trying to get the ball out. There was Madsen on hands and knees, Eurader players, and held up in the stoppage. Colo? Big job in defence for Harndorf. Uh, Joel Leake playing deep on Travis Oakley and Ashley Eckerman on uh, Braden Renshaw. Big job for the young fellas. So up they go. A high leap by Young. Ball comes down. Now a good tackle applied there by Hanby. Just bear hugged his Eurader opponent. Umpire Smith had no option to come in and the ball. Colo, Luke, Luke Ivan's coming into the match. Apparently under a bit of a uh, hamstrings. Just keep an eye on him. Yeah, it wouldn't be not 100% fit, but Luke, he's a, he's a uh, battled, hardened player and he'll get through, don't worry. Ball moved along about 10 metres along the uh, coaching box side. And once again, uh, scrimmage. So Umpire Smith comes and balls up. Roberts gets the ball down. Once again, scrambly play around the ball. There's a bit of physical uh, challenge early to set the tone. And once again, uh, a ball up will result. So we've had uh, four ball ups in the uh, as we've played uh, just over a minute of uh, the game, Goldie. Yep, just near the Zilla Pavilion still, near Euradler's uh, interchange bench. Here's an opportunity in the middle of the ground to be collected by Tom Worley. Oh, he fumbles it a bit, goes and gathers it, tries to get the handball out well, to Amato. Amato. Yeah, fumbled and there. he's set up a pawn by a couple of Handorf players. Uh, Euradler will take this for the start of the game, slow the game down, take speed out early. They couldn't do this two weeks ago, so repeat stoppages are important for them. So Roberts gets the ball down. Remnant over the ball, he's wrapped up. Finally, it comes out the back door here, taken away Parker Bowers. by Parker Bowers. Exciting youngster gets it forward and finds Matt Buckley. So Good Buckley, story, Matt Buckley. Yeah, waste no time on a short, low kick in towards, looking for Dar. Starts off the boot, off the ground. Oh, that's a goal. Could that be the goal of the game already in the first two minutes? Darcy Hurrigan. Just uh, opportunist style. Was, the was, wasn't it? But full credit to Matthew Buckley. He's got the job of looking after Luke Ivans now. Lukey likes to float off and play loose. But, um, young Buckley got perfectly in line with the footy. Quick kick come out. He takes a chest mark 10 metres in front of Ivans and um, sets up a scoring opportunity. So good start by uh, Buckley and well done to Darcy. Well, that's yeah, big one, goal in, one goal in two minutes, Pistols. Because Big Darcy had his uh, birthday during the week. So uh, belated present there to get the first goal in the grand final. So it'll be Daniel Roberts up against Will Young in Ruck. Roberts won that one. Flicked on. Tender target was Parker Bulls. Cole Sutton gathers it. Running through the middle of the ground. Kicks it towards centre half forward for Euradler. Halliday. Wind pipping up here and free kick. Holding the ball, is it? Or throw? It's going Euradler's way. Yep. And it'll go to uh, Braden Renshaw at centre half forward. Advantage ball played, advantage. is it? No, no advantage. No, no. they will have to bring the ball back. Amato is pretty happy. Euradler appealing to, for the play on. But uh, no, it's got to come back to Braden Renshaw. So in the true centre half forward, in fact, the uh, Handorf uh, man on the mark, Braden Hopgood, is actually starting, standing bit on a 50 metre arc. Bit of a breeze out there, Collar. Well, uh, it's not too bad. Well, the, Pope's yeah, chimney, the Pope chimney. The chimney, yeah. the smoke's blowing. So Braden Renshaw. That's right. He's kicked 24 goals for the season. This might be beyond his distance. He has a big run up, gets a big off, falls short, pack sets himself a big leap by Oakley off hands. Good Taken tackle. away there by Yeah, he's got a hand to it. Sorry, it was Perling. Ball comes to the ground. Edge of the goal square. up there, edge of the goal square. So Halliday merges with the ball as Mike Smith will come in and throw it up. So 10 metres out from goal. Ball comes out in towards Amato. He's wrapped up in a good, strong tackle applied there by uh, Parker Bowers. Yep. So uh, young fella, only 19. One of the uh, three 19-year-olds out this afternoon. Joel Leake, Troy Parker Bowles, and of course uh, Oscar Waters for Euradler. Edge of the goal square here for Euradler. Opening goal for the Magpies. Scored by Darcy Hurrigan off the ground. So kick out of defence from Harndorf. Could come back in here though. Will Young. Handball's out to Ivans. How's the hamstring? Great kick. Pretty That's good. good. Right. Nothing wrong with it there, Cody. Great finish by Lukey Ivans. The running uh, captain off the half-back. Sets up a lot of play and this time uh, finishing off some good work. Yeah, it was. And there's the other side of Ivan's doing what he does best, sitting off his player, getting loose in the, in that wall area, and um, and Buckley couldn't get to him quick enough. Ivan's good handball out the back, and that's what he does best, kicking goals from that distance. 
So as you said, Colo, with the, uh, the second semi-final, I think they kicked something like three goals in the first six minutes, Handoff. So certainly uh, you're able to keeping tabs with them here. One goal apiece, and we've played three and a half minutes. Division 1 A-grade grand final live on HFL Media. Lofty Media, and of course, 5 Triple R and Woomera. Troy Parker Buzz has gone into the middle. Meantime, Dylan Madsen clearing kick. Inside attack at 50. Magpie backing back. Almost a mark there by Roberts. Ball fumbles out. You're able to have three oh. players there. A free kick. Oh. It's gone to Roberts, is it? In that marking attempt. Yeah. Okay. Umpire, uh, I think it's umpire rule there, ruling that uh, infringement illegally on uh, Big Lukey Roberts. So Roberts with uh, yeah, 19 come. goals for the season. Yep. A few years ago, kicked four in the grand final, I think. So towards the Tweed Vale entrance end at the Lobethal Oval. 45 degree angle. Luke Sets Roberts. Way. It looks pretty good off the Lord, boot. He loves it. He loves That's it. That's a lovely uh, goal to Lukey Roberts. So there's the reply from that answer by... Ivans, so within a, a minute, hand off of their second uh, goal on the board through the agency, Lukey Roberts. Three goals inside uh, four minutes, Colo. Yeah, exciting brand of footy that both teams are playing. Eurator's defence were a little bit stiff there. I'm not sure that there was much in that free kick, but early in the game, if the umpires are going to pay them, that's fine, as long as that consistency will be there, which I'm sure it will. So, no, really good start to a game of footy, this game of footy, and we're in for an exciting couple of hours. Looks like Parker Boz has got the ta tagging job on Amado. In the middle. So in the centre, up they go. Roberts leaps high. Daniel brings the ball down, crashing his way through out there was uh, McDonald. Gets the ball ahead. Leading the race for Renshaw. Traps it nicely. Looks for support. Wheels around on the right foot. Goes deep inside. 50. One on Looking one. for Oakley. Oakley and Leak. Too oh, strong. Just too, too much strong. experience there. One, two grabs. Used great bodywork there on young Leak. So uh, and looking, Travis Oakley. Looking and to get into Leak there. Just called that early with those two young lads in defence. They're going to have to play in front of their players, be a little bit stronger than that. And um, certainly what's going to be important for Leek today, can't try and body up Oakley. He's going to have to sit off him and use his athleticism over the top. So Sorry. Travis Oakley, pistols. Yep, 43 for the year. Finished fifth on the goal-kicking list. And Love what That's his 44th. So keeping match here with him. Uh, two goals apiece as we've come out to five minutes gone here in the Division 1 A-grade Hills Grand Final. Colo? The, the one thing that'll be uh, satisfying Lukey Ivans and Eurator at the moment is their, their stoppage work. Um, two weeks ago, Handorf completely dominated that area of the ground. So uh, to see today that, uh, you know, Eurator are... Uh, if not matching them, if not winning those stoppages, it's uh, a great asset for them to be bringing to today's game. Tell you one of the great things I know, see, even though Daniel Roberts perhaps the upper hand in ruck, the ball being taken away by Eurader, and that occasion it was taken away by Jared McDonald. So we'll yeah. wait and see what happens here. Is the ball back in the centre with umpire Brian Rule? He waits for the Boundary Academy boy to get in position. So umpire Rule comes in and be Will Young up against Buck Daniel Roberts. Buckley's gone into the middle. So big leap there. Roberts gets the tap down again. Storm through his Madsen. This is better clearance for Handoff. Ball cleared away by Mussolini out towards half forward. Ball off hands taken by Ivans. Already in the goal kickers for Uradler. Sends it back towards the wing. Bouncing ball coming to meet it with Uradler. Bouncing ball eludes a couple of players. Scrambly there's uh, players applying the pressure call. Play on by umpire Rule. And finally he'll come in and ball up just in front of the... Handorf coaching box and uh, coach uh, Matt, Matt Golding, Golding sitting up there in the uh, Ivory Tower, Golding. Yep. So ball up just between both interchange benches. It was Roberts in there. Looks like a remnant and he's tackled to the ground. So stoppage in between both interchange benches. Six minutes gone in the opening quarter of the 2018 Div 1 Grand Final. It's Uradler, two goals. Handorf, two goals. Meantime, here's a chance. Hankin. Hankin. Nick Hankin back in the lineup. Centre half forward goes to his brother, Dave. He takes the mark. Yes, he does. Yeah, bit of a bit juggler. Of, bit of a late decision, wasn't it? So yeah. Dave Hankin will wheel onto that left boot. Who's up in the tack? He's looking for Hurrigan. Gathers it. Shimmies. Oh. Snaps around the corner. Oh, nah. it's just missed. Just Gee, missed. that was... That was Classy. nearly very special, that was. <laughs> he worked, worked his way through that one, Colo. Yeah, look, he's, uh, I know there's been doubts about his grand final form in recent years, but he showed early today that he's up for the challenge. So Tudor touched the ball to himself, goes extra distance, goes bang out towards the King Wing, our broadcast side. Back sets himself, getting back there, taking the mark, though, for Harndorf. Here's Braden Hopgood. Hopgood just in front of the uh, hill pack of Harndorf. Supporters goes in, board giving his hand to it. There was taken by a comb over man, Ingram. Arches the back and has a shot, but it's uh, missed everything. So out of bounds on the full left-hand uh, point post. So you're ready to take the relieving kick. Yep. Seven minutes gone. Two goals, uh, one Handorf. You're able to two goals. So clearing kick from your out of the fence. One-on-one contest centre wing. It's gone towards the boundary line. Handorf trying to move it here. This is Mussolino on his left boot. He's a quick player. 
Goes to the forward pocket, backing back, and that's a good mark there by Tudor, who coached the uh, senior Colts Pistols. Premiership. Yeah, absolutely. Their first flag since 1979, so he will already be on a high. Will he get a personal double as he runs around the man, the mark, and Hurrigan? Goes bang towards the half-back flank area. Pack sets himself off hands. First to get to be Remnant, looking for support. Amato. Gets added to Amato. High kick. Holds up in the breeze in the centre of the ground. Coming to meet his leap. Off hands there. Off the edge. Ball Ooh. spills free. Here's a chance. Oscar Bouncy, Waters, Oscar, off to the race. Oscar Waters, the youngest, one of the youngest people on the field, gets it. Hits it towards the goal square. It's unmanned. Bouncing will get. No, it stops in front of the scoreboard. First to get there, looks like it's Cooper Nykamp, is it? Yep. Feeds yep. the ball out to a teammate there, and they get out of trouble this time. The Magpies towards the half-back flank area. Yep, purling the intended target. Works it towards the Zilla Pavilion. Did well, kept it in, and it's gone about out of bounds eventually. Yep. Free yep. kick. Oh, yep. free kick, is it? Yeah, Yitch. Got, yeah, no, it's purling. Going Stalin, purling, sorry. Just yep. in front of the Zilla Pavilion. So it's uh, two goals, one to your Adler, two goals. We've gone nine minutes, opening quarter of the 2018 grand final. Did one action. So, so purling. Big stadium down the line from the coaching box. Big leap there by Ivan's ball comes to the ground close to the boundary line. Feeding hand work. If you're a it's hot target. I think it's remnant set upon there. Had no chance to get rid of the ball prior. Held up. Bounce will occur. Colo, thoughts so far? Yeah, it's quality game. Just a bit of status quo at the moment. Both sides filling each other out. But um, I just want to see Handorf's back line probably play in front a little bit more. Good feeding handball out there. Yet to try and take the ball forward. Got players here. Oh, but I intercepted well. Oh, has a bounce as he runs away. Well done, you raid. Gets it down here towards Oakley, who's uh, all over young Leak at the moment with the experience. So the, uh, the Burley experience forward with the ball just sort of half forward. Sends it inside the forward pocket. Looking Amato. for Amato, who's run on in front of the uh, smoke screen at the Pope's uh, chimney <laughs> pocket. The chicken barbecue, certainly uh, plenty of uh, punters there this afternoon uh, doing a good trade as the smoke screen up there. Perhaps it's a uh, kick it to the smoke screen, they won't well, see you. That's so, it, uh, Nick Amato, 11 <laughs> goals for the season, as we said, after returning from a stink with the base. Sets it towards the goal mouth. Has it got the carry? No right touch to the on line. the line. Yep. Off hands. So off hands score. behind the score to your Radler. Scores a level. 2-1 apiece, 10-minute mark. Opening quarter action. So Matty Yench with the kick out. Of course, we had his dad, BJ, on pre-match. That was entertaining. Got the uh, orange uh, wheels on this afternoon, Goldie. Have seen him in the light or green. Yep. Well, he goes straight down the middle here, Yenchi. He's gone into the middle of the ground. Luke Roberts will set himself. Oh, oh Lukey oh. Ivans. But Ivans, he's on song. Kick the goal early. Handball's off to a running teammate in Kepper. Kick inside attack. Oh, 50. Oh, oh, Tommy Kluvenek. Tommy Kluvenek. Over the stallion. So, uh, quick movement here yeah. around the stoppages, Shane. And your Raiders forward line are dominating because they're hitting up at the footy. Handoff playing from behind, which is a st standard procedure when you're trying to play the press. But when there's a lot of chaos ball early, you do have to play in front. And um, your Raider have shown the ascendancy here. So, Tommy Kluvenek, 41 goals for the season. We know he's a goal kicker, of course. And that left foot sits it with a hold up in the breeze. Bounding on point. Goal on point. Yeah. Watching intently. That's pretty good. Very good, in fact. So you're right to move to 3-1, hand off 2-1 here on HFL Media on the call of the Wild Division 1 A grade grand Well, Colo, he kicked six, I believe, in the qualifying final against Mount Barker. So uh, very, very dangerous player, Cody yeah, Klevenick. Ab absolutely. Him and Renshaw need to work well together, and they've started the game really well. As I said, I'm impressed with your Raiders forward line. I'm sure Handorf can just make a couple of little adjustments to get back on top there. Um, but... Uh, in the midfield's the main important thing. You're right, I need to keep stay competitive around there. So back in the centre this time, Luke Roberts up against Young. Luke Roberts gets the ball down, taken away by Hank, and David drives it inside 50 for the Magpies, going towards the Tweed Bowen, but getting back and taking Great a yeah. That's the handy of a centre there. clearance there, Colo. Yeah, and Quick that's movement. what we just spoke about, didn't we? And Hank in the middle there, that's... Uh, you know, known for his work up forward, but to go in the middle, it was a great tap by Roberts, and Cooper that was too easy, to be honest. Yeah, young Nykamp, who uh, pretty impressed with him in the second semi-final, Shane, and yeah. uh, can kick a couple of goals as well. Very good young footballer. So, kicked 17 for the season, of course, uh, son of Anthony Nykamp, former Mount Barker and uh, Callington Eagles player. We know he's a goal kicker. So kicked Nykamp. some clutch goals in that second semi. Tweed Vaux in, 45 metres out, sits on its way to it, and the goal by has hardly moved. Love that that is a magnificent finish by the young man, and Handorf. Get that one back, so 3-1 apiece here. 11 minutes gone. There's How are we uh, going, Robbie, with the inside 50s? Oh. Yep, there we go. Fairly even at this time. Academy boundary boy bring that wearing the hat today. Why yeah, not? Zinc cream, is it? Yeah, so 
uh, almost cricket season, which of course uh, starts in a couple of weeks. So back in the sea, umpire Reese Williams sets it up. Luke Roberts got the tap down, taken by Hank, and he's set upon by a couple of demons. And once again, we'll have a ball up in the centre of the ground here at uh, a sun-bathed Thomas Foods International Park at Lobethal here in the Valley of Praise, and it certainly is today. Plenty of praise here, brilliant conditions, and a good game of footy. Ball comes out here, Amado overruns the ball, taken out Williams, there by Williams, vision, gets vision. a good handball out. From Roberts finds the run here on Mussolino. Mussolino. He's dispossessed, goes and shoots out of handball. Coming to meet is Ivans. Tough approach on the ball to former North Adelaide vice captain. Bounces the ball along the boundary line towards the interchange area. Oh, heavy tackle there. Was it too high? No, says the umpire. And he'll come in and ball up on the interchange gate. As 12 minutes gone, 3 1 apiece here in the Division 1 A grade grand final for 2018. Stoppage Williams, handball out, looks like Root Roberts just hacks it forward. Madsen, the intended target. What's the umpire called here? Is it downfield or is he going to do it again? Or looks like it's going to go back, yes. Handoff. Going to be Mussolino, I think, taking the free kick. Yep, left footer. He's got a few touches early. So, eight, or was it Hankin? Dave Hankin, Hankin. sorry. So, Dave Hankin kicks inside, attacking 50. Intended target there was uh, Cooper Nykamp, was it? It's gone out of bounds. Yeah, so it's good work there by uh, Tudor Soros, I think it was. Michael Tudor coming involved, so just seeing the ball over the boundary line. Three goals, one apiece. We've gone 13 minutes in the grand final. So throw in. Young did the ruck work. Ball comes to the ground. Hamby's in there working out for the Magpies. Handball comes out. Madsen under pressure there. Dispossessed by Remnant. Going to ground there was Halliday. Yep. So the umpire will come and ball it up. Once again, and uh, just outside the 50 metre arc for Handorf as they work towards the Tweedvale town end of Lobethal Oval. Matson over run the ball. Remnant in there, as you'd expect, typical fashion. Once again, a bit of push and shove, hanking off the ball there with uh, Amado. We've got our external mic right on the scene today. Pistols without down at ground level. That's a high note. Ducked his head. Centre half forward area still for the Magpies. Three goals, one apiece. Goal kickers in the opening quarter so far. Pistols. Hurrigan, Hurrigan Luke, Luke Roberts, Roberts Nykamp, and Ivan's Oakley and Kluvenick for the Demons. As the ball comes out here wide, trying to tuck the ball in there. Peeing the oh, ball out. It was Williams. Oh, high tackle on uh, Hankin, left uh, unnoticed. Ball comes back here to Watton. He's dispossessed in the tackle. Actually, it was Kepper, Patrick Kepper. Bit of push and shove at ground level. Tudor's in there. Hankin, as you expect. Also, uh, looks like it's Nick Hankin. So, ball up. Renshaw doing a bit of ruck work. Ball comes out there. Oh, well stolen out there for your Raidler. Looked like Luke it was Thomas. Luke Thomas out towards Kluvenek. He's down from his uh, centre half forward position. Well marshaled by Perling, but your Raidler getting the ball forward. In front of the Zilla Pavilion is a chance for Simon, Simon Ebert. Ebert if it sits for him. He's got support from a teammate down Halliday, I think it is. Yep. Gets the bouncing ball towards Oakley. This time playing in front. Free kick. And earning a free kick. Is Kane Macho. So Kane Macho just near the barbecue area here at Lobethal. Three goals, one apiece. 15 minute mark. Macho clears the ball out of the fence. Pack oh. forms over the top. Big uh, D Roberts, is it? Hambles to Madsen. He goes with a short option. Finds Parker Bowles. Handball on to a running teammate in Mussolino. Kicks it towards the half forward line. Comes off hands. Trying to kick it up there was Big Das. Mm. Well, uh, Pressurised by a couple of Raidler players and holds the ball up left half forward line. Long way out from home. Darcy's on the actual uh, point of the 50 metre arc. Uh, Steined up at full forward. Ruck so in. Renshaw grabbed the ball, tried to hack it out the air. Taken away by Yance. He's put down in a big solid tackle holding the ball. Paid to advantage. Remnant sweeps a handball at the Halliday. In turn, shoots a little pass out wide. Looking out there for his skipper in uh, Kluvenick, but it eludes him and bounces over the line in front of the Zilla Pavilion. 3 1 apiece here. Played 15 minutes first term. HFL Division 1 Grand Final. Collo. Yeah, it's interesting we asked about Will Young. Who's going to chop him out? Braden Renshaw's gone into the ruck to give him a few minutes rest. I was going to suggest that pre-match, but I was thinking maybe they're going to use him in defence or up forward. But uh, as you said, he's doing a uh, pretty versatile footballer. Uh, Braden Renshaw and also pretty handy with the new ball for West Torrens District Cricket Club. As the ball comes down, once again, scrambly play. Matson in there with the bun. Because he's had the disappointment of the senior Colts uh, losing us in the yep. coaching role, but hopefully they can uh, get hand off their first win of uh, five grand final appearances today, boys. Free kick here, going for Handorf's way. So it looks like it's going to Nick Hankin, is it? Yep, Nick Hankin, I'd suggest. In the lineup today. So Nick Hankin goes with a short option, but it's chopped out there by your Raider player in Nick Amato, just near the interchange bench area. Oh, a bit of confidence, takes a bounce. Kicks it along the pavilion, but that's going to be marked there by Kane Moucho. Has taken a few marks or got a few kicks in the last couple of minutes. 
So he takes the ball left half back flank. Siding Junior. Now Joe drives it back towards the coaching box side. Big clash of players in a marking contest. Ball bundled over the boundary line in between the two coaches. Just a boxes. even period. Yeah, Colo. no coincidence. We've just spoke about your Raiders forward line being dominant. Renshaw's gone into the ruck and now their last three entries they haven't found a target. So they may need to get him back forward pretty quickly. Roberts and Young do battle. Ball comes to the ground. Looks like Remnant taken high. Possibly no, says the umpire Smith. Handoff are playing a six-man forward line. You're able to one-on-one, but you're able to have got one less in their forward half. So. Roberts, big leap. Daniel gets the ball clear. Taken by Halliday. Turns back on his right foot. Goes out towards the Zilla Pavilion. Looking for Kluvenek. Getting there. Leach oh, spills off him. Taken by Oakley, but in the meantime... Uh, Ricky for Handoff. Goes back to Young Leak, who probably should have taken the mark initially. But uh, all wins well as he's got the free kick right in front of the Zilla Pavilion here. Eyes are Lobel. darting inboard. There yeah, he goes, goes across to, to Eckerman. Partner in crime. Eckerman's got a loose man out here in Braden Hopgood at the Dreammaker side kick. Couple Wink of handle flares comes out, out here. here. So Mussolino with the headband sits nicely for him. Gavis has one bounce. Will he go for two? Yes, he has another one as he streams along the King Wing. Has a third one. Robert's now he's got a bit of trouble with six barrel. He's going to do for it. Goes inboard the corridor. Looking for a uh, teammate there, but uh, well Yench. done by Yetch. Stretch around the corner on the left foot. It's high. Bounces, doesn't he, make The distance bounces towards the line. Buckley will get there first for the Magpies. Under pressure, but uh, over the boundary line. So, good run. Nice little run there. Yeah, interesting part of the play. I'd really like to see your Adler go one-on-one forward. Um, they've just lost that domination through that half-forward area at the moment with Handorf having that loose player. So, ruck throw at big Daniel Roberts. Will Young gets the tap down. Ivan's under the pack. Pulls it back in underneath him, and the umpire comes in and uh, sail ball up. So we're about 30, 35 metres out from the Tweedvale end entrance ground goals. So Ruck throw in. Daniel Roberts double fists it down, trying to work his way through. It was Patrick Kepper. Oh, holding, oh, holding, the, ball. holding the ball there. Paddy, oh. thought, Paddy Butts thought he was playing his New Zealand roots through the game of rugby <laughs> as he tried to strike off the tackle, but uh, no, holding the ball. So it looks Parker like Parker Boss. Uh, Parker Boss. Troy Parker Boss. Just ring up the facts. He's not even um, not he's even on the uh, champion data. Well, he's stats kicked, we have he's kicked less than three yeah, so pistols, if he is. We say uh, rarely used goal kicker Goldie will get us out of that. <laughs> so brilliant grunt trying for the uh, the conclusion of the Hills Football League season. And a great crowd in the house here, packed on the mounds we'll next let, to us. We'll let the crowd do the talking here. Parker Boz stabbed at it. Pulls it across the face. No. So uh, just stabbed at that from 30 out. He should have kicked the goalpost height and put it on the road. So minor score, but good enough to give Handorf the lead. They go to 3 2. Your a 3 1. 19 minutes gone first term here. A grade grand final for Division 1 2018. HFL Media, Lofty Media, 5 Triple R up there in Woomera. And also the highlights will be seen on uh, Footy Flicks. So boundary throw in 50 metres out from Handorf's goal. 20 minute mark. As Pistol said, 3 2 to 3 1. Luke Roberts wins it down, tried to get it to Matty Yench. Handball from Kepper, goes to Nathan Remnant for your Raidler. Goes to Ricky Ebert, of course best on ground in the interleague match at uh, Murray Bridge. Off hand centre wing now, Braden Watton. Wrapped up by a couple of handle players there in Braden Hopgood and Kane Mouchow, centre wing just in front of us here. So right in front of our commentary position here on the uh, King outer wing here at uh, Lobethorpe. Front of the grassy mole, big Daniel Roberts, Will Young. Tapped out, clearing kick away for Handorf through the HCF Parker Bowles. Bouncing a tip there of uh, Chudasaurus oh. and paid for a deliberate as he uh, tried to scoop the ball over the boundary line. So Yenchi calling for players to come at him here. He's just in front of the Handorf supporters. It's a packed, packed hill here, isn't it, Colo? Yeah, great crowd in the house. So it might have been a crowd free kick, that one. So Yenchi goes to Hurrigan. He'll fly all over the back there and it's gone out of bounds. Right half forward flank. Colo. Yeah, it's interesting this forward line set up. Your Adler have to use someone else in the ruck. As soon as Renshaw's taken out of here, that free's purling up. He then goes to Kluvenek, so it works in Handorf's favour. So Roberts over the top of uh, Young, taken by Hankin, in turn he's locked up. So uh, boundary throw up will uh, result. So that's, once again, ball comes down. Tudor's in there as well. So once again, similar scenario. And the ball up to take place here, half forward flank area. Handorf working towards. The Tweedvale entrance and ball spills free from the ruck contest. Quick hands Comes there. Comes out Yench. Yench gets out to Parker Biles. If it's set for him, no, it doesn't. He's besieged by a couple of demons. Ball goes to ground. So your Raider just playing uh, Shane yeah. Collins, just lock-in style the, game. Correct, it? and the pressure's good um, but from both teams around this contested situation. So Right half forward flank for the Magpies. 50 metres out. Your Raider trying to clear the ball. Kluvenek's down there. He's wrapped up by Yench in the tackle. 
held up. Bang on 50. 22 minute mark. 3 2 Harndorf. Three goals one, Uradler. Goal kickers for Harndorf, Hurrigan, Luke Roberts, and Nykamp. Get to Uradler's goal kickers shortly. Here's a chance though, Matson. He had Buckley running for him. He tried to take him on. Uradler oh, through uh, Thomas. Thomas. Luke Thomas darts around. Kicks oh, no. the ball. Oh, 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 that's oh. dangerous. It almost went down the throat of Darcy. And it's uh, held back. Good tackle by Uradler there to. Uh, Stop yeah, Harndorf from having a shot at goal. Bit, bit fortunate yeah. there, wasn't it? Clearance uh, kick by Luke Thomas. Your Adler goal kick is Ivans, Oakley and Kluvenek. Pistols. So last got a 10-minute mark. We've uh, almost played 22 minutes, boys. Ooh. So uh, Here's a chance. Here's a chance as the ball spills out here. Harndorf gets the ball back here. Nike, um, Ingram. Yes. Ingram. Right. Gone. He's wrapped up there to comb over, man. No free kick, says the umpire. In fact, uh, it's held underneath. So press a bit fortunate there, Nicky Ingram. So umpire... Rule will come in and ball up right forward pocket. Tweedvale into the ground. Ball comes down, bouncy towards the line. Vergara's lurking. Also, it was uh, Ricky Ebert, I think it is. Uh, sorry, Wortley, and the ball over the boundary line. Last goal kicker was uh, Kluvenek, was yeah, it, at yeah. the 11 minute mark. So we've gone yeah. 11 minutes without a goal, Colo. So that typifies the tight action around the clearances. For sure, here's a chance. Robbie Kepper grabs the ball, taking the ground, and another big, strong tackle applied by uh, Matty Buckley. So once again, half forward flank area, we will have a, uh, another ball up. So the umpire's plenty of work with the ball up so far. Ball comes down, quick kick Ooh. away by Tudor. Comes to Ricky Ebert, unfortunately falls in his hands. Didn't yep. go to the required distance, said the umpire. I think it was play. Yep. Um, yep. So once again, another ball up will result. So you're able to move further out of the defensive area. Daniel Roberts comes in off the scene against uh, Will Young and Ruck. Half forward line for the Magpies. Clearing kick, here's a chance for Ebert. Ricky kicks it in the middle of the ground. Renshaw sets himself against Eckerman. What's he called here? Ooh, yeah, chopping of the arms, free kick. Arms. And just gets rid of him as well in the process. So Renshaw at edge of the cricket pitch. So he goes out wide towards the Zilla Pavilions out wide. He's got Kyle Sutton. Sutton wastes no time, goes towards the pocket. But in the meantime, you can hear the siren in the background. Collar so, will go out there, get the thoughts and come back to us. At the end of our entertaining first quarter here in the Division 1 A-grade football life, premiership fight. Oh. It's hand off 3-2. You raid the 3-goal 1. So back here at uh, quarter time, as uh, Robbie Sherwood working the uh, computer here this afternoon. He's got the champion data and stats for us. Uh, Goldie, just yeah. the stats that matter. Handorf, uh, 13 inside 50s to your eight plus seven. Yep. Oh, uh, taps as well. Handorf, 24, your eight plus seven. Well, it just shows you, I think we were talking about the dominance in the uh, ruck of Daniel Roberts as to be expected. So that's a marginally... Uh, but you're right, like one point down. Yeah, so 3-2 uh, to 3-1, and uh, shapes as a great duel in the sun here for the Hills Football League Division 1 Premiership of 2018. Just, uh, bringing our listeners' pistols up to earlier games that happened uh, this morning. Understand Mount Barker beat Harndorf in the Mini Colts. Uh, Blackwood beat Harndorf in the Junior Colts. And the Senior Colts, Uradler beat Harndorf. And in the B grade, Uradler beat Harndorf. Yeah, you're right, completing a undefeated season in the reserves, so well done to the to the, everyone concerned with that. And here they are fighting out for A grade, so it could be a, a three peak for the mighty demons here. So just wait and see. Is a great scene here, Gold, yeah, as we look around. Good, We've got the layout Hayler going here, pumping up the demons. We've got yeah. the uh, the beach umbrellas, the red and blue beach yeah. umbrellas, uh, the, the Guernseys. Yeah. Uh, look down the few other dogs. side. We've got a few dogs out yeah, there. Yeah, a few dogs out there today. A few uh, you're right, the B-grade boys. That's good to see him on the water because he's got a long night ahead of him. Yeah. So uh, a great scene. I tell you what, the Hills Football League would be pretty pleased with the scene here considering uh, last week. I know the crowd was down, but the conditions at uh, Loby, uh, sorry, Cullington were a little bit... Uh, oh, let's ordered. go around the grounds. Let's go around the grounds here. And, uh, well, last night, Collingwood <laughs> Football Club 97 defeated uh, the reigning Premier 58. Go, boys. And meanwhile... Are you heading there? Yes, certainly will be there. Yeah. West Coast Eagles. Via Singapore? Or? Yeah, <laughs> West Coast Eagles 13, leading the Demons uh, 3. So 10-point margin to the Eagles at this early stage of the game over there in uh, WA. Meanwhile, here at Lobethal, over it's uh, Handorf 3-2. You raid the 3-1. Yeah. Goal kick is in the... Oh, here he is. Here he is. And, uh, come on. Get up. Come on. Come on. Here he is. Hey, boys, you got me... Uh, now, pistols, no, just one sec. 
this man last year. Pistols, unfortunately, you were away at this time yeah. last year watching Richmond in the preliminary Pistols, final. Got the, uh, out the middle. And uh, this man joined me in the commentary box, and uh, I reckon he's worthy of a chat here. Mitchie, yep. Mitchie Weeks. How you going, Goldie? Good to see you, Mitchie. How are you going, mate? The, the knee yeah, coming on? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Knee's coming on, slowly but surely. And uh, what's our plans? Cricket? Thank you. After Christmas. OK, what, a, what about for the Mighty Tigers next year? Um, <laughs> football's still your game? Yeah, uh, I don't what know. Are you, what are you going to We're looking for some young talent then, my like call. Oh. Oh, do you know that? Hang on, Colin. Anyway, just anyway just we'll just go down to Shane Collins. Great to see you, Mitchie. Shane Collins. OK, boys, thank you. Just out in the middle here with the... Uh, the Colo. Matty Down, obviously injured today, but um, he's taken a lot of... Uh, Matty Down. A lot of leadership there in the midfield. He uh, grabbed all the midfield guys, had a pen and paper. He was drawing up some stoppage work. Um, he was satisfied, and there was a lot of commentary about the fact that they're being very competitive in there. But structurally, they just need to set up a little bit stronger. The sweeper from Handorf's doing a bit of damage, which is um, concerning them. So you'll see some positional changes around these stoppages from Uradla in uh, this. Other side. Hey, Colo. Get the. They know how to play, and uh, they're not. The one thing they've got to do is just continue to switch the ball. He's very big on bringing the, the ball comes in one side, it must go out the other. So he's asked them to make sure they switch the ball on all occasions. And uh, so we'll see if they can win the ball in the back half, we'll see some daring play from them and try and open the game up and switch the footy. And from your Adler's point of view, I reckon we'll see some changes around the stoppages to try and clean a bit up there. So game's right in the balance as the scoreboard indicates. So looking forward to a good second quarter. All right, pistols is the... Oh, yep. Yes, thank you very much to Shane Collins venturing out on uh, Colo. Just you're back here now. Just the atmosphere here and the, just the conditions. It's brilliant. Oh, isn't it? I'll tell you one thing. It's hot. It's actually hot out there. It feels like 13 before. I don't think so. No, I think it's no, 20, 22. No. I tell you, you're a hard man to please. Last week you complained it's too cold. This week it's too hot. Do you know what? They were brave the elements both weeks. You just keep sitting in no, the we van. We did, mate. didn't we? You in the hail. In the van under the heater. Just we were in the place. hail last week. Oh, mate. We all in all efforts in all conditions. I tell you what, I might have to get the colonel to put the uh, the fan on for us because it's too warm in here. So. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, yep, stats. Yes. More importantly, mate, back on the game here. I'm really looking forward to this second quarter. Both coaches were positive. It's a good game, and uh, we'll see some small changes with their structures. We'll just have a look in the middle. Uh, we've got Back Buckley, Madsen, for Handorf uh, in the ruck. Daniel Roberts versus Will Young once again. So, Pistols ready right, to go. Here second we go. term underway. Yench tops it forward as he runs through the dust off the cricket pitch. That's comes back to Yench. Comes back out here, bouncing ball. Mussolino. Grabbed out there by Mussolino. Goes great to the half-forward flank. Nightcamp. And great take out in front of him by Young Nykamp. So, already... In the cricket, old cricket net pocket here. So good transition. He could the almost get the journey here. So he sets it up towards the corridor. Oh, great kick. Great Lumbering kick. out there's Big Darcy. Oh, he's it. Fumbled it. Taken by Amado. He goes to ground there. So Big Darcy would probably want that one back over again. Probably didn't expect it to be that easy, to be honest. He was probably expecting a clip around the ears or across the arms, but he had that all on his own. Yeah. So Luke Roberts doing battle with Young. Charcoal young chickens ball, back on. Gets the ball down. Going the ground, you can smell it over here. It's quite nice. Might send uh, Robbie Shearwood over to get some at half time, but I'd be a bit worried it wouldn't get back here in one piece, that's for sure. So we have the throw up. Umpire Mark Smith sets it up. Roberts pushed his opponent off the ball, comes to Amato, gets a quick kick away for the Demons towards the cricket pitch area. Bouncing ball, it's dust rising there. Ball comes out to uh, Halliday, sweeps out a handball. Holding, enough. holding the ball, as good a tackle applied there was by Matty Yench, the uh, Magpie skipper. Might go the barrel. No, he goes uh, to within 20 metres out from goal. A couple of big players oh. down there. Oh, over the back. Right, Thomas. Luke Thomas, is it yeah. paid? Yeah. Yes, it is. Great mark. Saw him take a great mark a few years ago. Pistols against Absolute. Blackwood in the That's grand right. final. That's right, yeah. it was. Yep. He goes with a short pass to Tudor, goes to Ivans, kick the uh, opening goal for Uradler in the first term. Ren, uh, Klubinek versus Perling, one on one, just in front of John, our external microphone. And it will be a boundary throw in just in front of the Dreammaker. Both for Peeling for holding on there, but I think it was 50-50 uh, each way, so rightly so the umpire says there will be a boundary throw in. Right in front of us, Young. Daniel Roberts works to the front, got one hand to it, down the throw to Remnant, who goes to ground under the pressure of Batson. Also in there's Matty Yench. So up they get. To, uh, recommence play. Young, Roberts. New old decision. Ooh, Buckley's kick was seven. Oh, he threw the ball out there towards Batson. He's wrapped up in a couple of big yeah. touches. Comes the Yench under pressure. Hooks around the left foot. Ivans. Tapped to smother by Ivans. Goes unrewarded. Uh, Picked up by Luke Roberts. Oh, oh he loses the ball to the invisible man. <laughs> ball comes back out here and stacks on the mill. So uh, just a few scrappy pieces of play yeah, there for Yeah, well Hardoff. done by Michael Tudor there from Eurator. He's one on three. Had no right to win that. But, uh, wanted it more than the others. Just sense a bit of pressure creeping into the Magpies here. 
Ball comes down there. Comes to Ooh. Buckley. Can he get it? No, he's wrapped oh, up. Shrugs him off. off the tackle there of Lee. Belt gets towards the top of the square. Darcy Irrigan oh, takes a one hand against uh, Thomas, it was. So a good mark there by Big Darcy. And nice work by Buckley, shrugging off his direct opponent. He started well. Yeah, he? He, he's done really well. Very underrated player. And obviously, Matty Golden, who's got a lot of faith in him and uh, playing him up in that forward half, young Matty Buckley. He's done some really good things. So Big Darcy right in front of the scoreboard. Kicked the opening goal of the game at the two-minute mark of the first quarter with a clever toe poke. Here he is, a more uh, conventional shot for him. Although he's on a uh, bit of an angle, with left footer. He loves it. He straightened it up and... Uh, that's his second uh, for the match and uh, 113 for the year, Goldie. So Handorf get the first goal of the second term. They go to 4-2 to 3-1 here on HFL, HFL Media. Media. And our girl Daria, the, the second round of the Pan Pax uh, yeah. uh, tournament. I, I, so I, 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 I have to send our man Colo to, uh, to give her some uh, brain trust work. Only get the best pistols on the stings. Meantime, in the middle of the ground cricket pitch area, umpire comes in, crosses himself. Just a score check around the state, boys. Imperials 5-2, Manham 2-4, Johnny Boris 4 in the first quarter. Big right. Johnny with a double cobbers to be going there, I tell you. Mussolino ch- kicks yeah. the ball to half forward. A couple of players there, and Dave Hankin was one. The Kepper, Kepper goes back to Ivans. Hemble out to Tudor. He's under pressure here by oh. Truck, Troy Parker Bowers, and that's gone out of bounds on the full. So the resultant free kick right in front of Aiden Mussolino will take the free kick for the Magpies. Important, to quick important period here, Colo, for your Adler. Yeah, it is. They've got to hang tough here. There's, um, so the umpire just makes sure he goes over his mark. So Mussolino for the Magpies. Sends it in. Cricket net pocket. Big pack saws over the top. Oh, it's a mark. That's a big pack full and waiting behind it is uh, Lukey Roberts. Just said, thanks very much, boys. It's a fellow to his uh, mitts. Yeah. So we had Thomas flying. I think Ivans was there as well. the sandwich. Yeah. So uh, he was not hamming it up, that's for sure, as he just stood there and took yeah. it. So Kicked the goal in the first quarter, pistol. So Lukey yes, Roberts, yes, he did. And uh, he's kicked 20 for the year, wearing the number 21. Can he make it 21 goals for the season? Deliberate approach here. Got the hard crowd behind him. Oh, it's a bit of a shanky shank. And it's a bit of a whop. <laughs> that's a, uh, obviously been taking uh, kicking lessons from Matty Roberts for the way that <laughs> kicked, but uh, minus score there. That's a, that's a Rob Shearwood. Sh- well, yeah. Yeah, shocker. shocker. <laughs> Although last week we had the Shearwood special <laughs> from someone who apparently lives in your house. Looks very familiar like your son. Topo to sue himself. Was Tudor. He gets the ball to the coach in the back pocket, right next to the old cricket net pockets. So Ivans drives the ball along the king wing. Oh, oh Benji! Yeah. Like a starter gazelle. So Darcy's Yitch takes the ball. For it long. Puts it in long, looking for Das. Three deep. Good defensive fist nice. by Thomas. Buckley. Paul Fenetti comes out here to Madsen around the corner on the right. Will it come back? Oh, it's, oh, hit, the it's hit the post. So Handorf lifting the ante here, but a uh, yeah, couple are, minor they? scores. They are, aren't they, boys? They're putting the uh, tightening the screws. Once again, Buckley. Great yeah, crumb great crumb. Great hands. So five and a half minutes gone. Second term, Handorf 4 4. Lead your aid to 3 1. A good start to the uh, second term here by the Magpies. So we'll get the inside 50 shortly from uh, our man Rob on the scene. So Tudor goes to himself, strolls past the scoreboard, kicks it out of defensive. Roberts goes up. That was Daniel, Dingle, Dylan Madsen. Quick handballs off to Nike. Um, well, that's gone on the roof there. Nick Ingram, and it's gone right near the... Uh, yeah. I hope, I hope it hasn't blocked the chimney, boys. There's a bit of a problem there. Near the old charcoal chicken. Yeah. Oh, hang on. We'll just get this relayed here. Oh. Six to Handorf, one to your Adler. Oh. Good important stats there, Robbie, I'm, and um, I'm it's off. showing at the moment. I'm off. Hello, what's going on here? We're waiting for a footy. So, I'm off. I'm off. Just just while we're waiting, um, just quickly, you know, your Raiders work out of the back half um, just hasn't quite been clean enough this Hang quarter. On, they we're haven't off. been able to open up. We're here on HFL Media and uh, this is the grand final here. And I'll put uh, Goldie Pistols back on because, yep, there we go. Yep. Oh, play. Oh, that's all right. We'll just call cool the game. Four goals, four hand, uh, four goals, five now. Hand off your rate of three goals, one colo. Yeah, you're right. This is where they're just breaking down a little bit. They're getting through to half back and they're kicking the stop is it to a contested situation too many times. So, ball out towards the interchange wing area, leading the race for the ball over the boundary line, and we'll have a uh, throw in. So, 4 5 Handorf leading your aid to 3 goal 1, and we'll come up to seven and a half minutes gone, second term 
great grand final. Big house, big crowd in the house. Good game of footy, bouncing ball. First to get there for Handel, to lead. It looked like it was uh, great tackle by Ricky Ebert. So the free kick taken by Ricky Ebert puts it down, getting across as Malcho. Defensive. This goes to ground. Oh, good work by Perling at ground level. Gets out the back door to Eckerman, who had a bit of a fumble for the Magpies. He's ready to lock the ball in there. Trying to spin his way out of trouble there was Malcho. Ball goes to ground. And finally the up will come in and ball up some 30 metres from the Tweed Vale goal. So throw in, throw in will take place. Up goes the ball. Comes to ground level. Good work by Roberts. Feds the ball out there. Ball taken in. Uh, pretty scrambly football. It's a ball in there with Sam Williams. But in the meantime, the umpire has paid a free kick. It goes back to Dylan Madsen. So Madsen with the ball for Handel. Mm. Deep in defence here. Right half back flank. Dylan Madsen, the vice captain, kicks the ball along towards centre centre wing area. Pack four. Mark. Strong mark there. And that looks like big Will Young, is it? Yeah, Will Young. So Young will kick the ball back inside attack at 50 for your radar. 40 metres out from goal. Pack forms. Ball hits the deck. And uh, wrapped up in the table there was your the player. Left half forward flank. Yeah, it's Hello. just a bit too much of that going on, Ramon. It's long and bombing. There's two inside 50s to your radar just in the last 30 seconds, and it's the only two for the quarter. So, um, you know, they need to get their... Uh, they need to be hit, putting the ball on chess. So, once again, scramble play, half forward flank area. Yetch was in there applying a tackle. Also was young Oscar Waters in there for the Demons. So umpire will come in and ball it up. So up they go again. Perfect conditions here. Postcard view as we look out yeah, over the Valley of Prize. Ball driven forward. Oh, Ingram flew for it. Dispossessed. Quick kick forward there for Harndorf. Leading the race for the boards. Robbie Kepper. And he's bundled over the line right in front of the Zilla Pavilion. Yep. So nine and a half gone. Four, five. Harndorf Magpies. You raid the three, one. So boundary thrown just in front of the Zilla Pavilion. Umpire wearing, boundary umpire wearing a hat. Perfect conditions here. It's going out towards the boundary and line. Waters, and uh, Waters yeah. is shoved across the boundary Looks line. Looks like a little jockey out there, young yeah. Oscar Waters, doesn't he? At 19 years, the youngest uh, player in the uh, Demons lineup. So, 10 minute mark, second quarter action here. Handorf peppering. Haven't quite taken advantage. Four goals, five. Your Adler, three goals, one. It was one uh, point the difference at quarter time, Handorf's way. So, here's a chance by Hopgood. Quick kick. But it's taken by Ivans. Ivans, waste no time, gets it out the run of uh, Patrick Kepper out towards the he's King Wing broadcast side. He's got a paddock as he gabs it. Has one bounce, got time to steady and have a couple. No, he decides to go field, field by foot up towards Ricky Ebert. Off hands comes to Eckerman. He's taken high, perhaps. Yes, he was. In French by Renshaw, so the free kick to go back to uh, Eckerman. He's had a pretty good uh, season in A grade ranks. Young Ashley Eckerman sets the ball up high. Towards the wing area, Pack settles himself. Kepper's back there. The two Kepper boys over the top. Comes down to Ivans. He's looking for support. Goes on his own little toe poke. Actually ricochets off Paddy Kepper right in front of the uh, dream maker here on the King Wing area. Yeah, and that was what we we're talking about before. Paddy Kepper, loose ground there. He's 30 metres out in the clear and he can't find a Uradler forward. So Handel's defence doing a great job at the moment. So the Boundary Academy boy over the top was uh, Luke Roberts, third man out. Come the remnant, quick handball out to Jared McDonald. Toe pokes the Demons forward. Good gather out there by Renshaw. Wheels around on his left. Oh, he's got oh, his right, he goes down. So, uh, holding a nut. Yep, just uh, burned up a bit too much space there, Braden Renshaw. So uh, Kane Melcho with the kick. With the free kick. Left half back, Kane Melcho with the opportunity. Kicks in the middle of the ground. He's got opportunity for Roberts. Was he going to go there? Well, the umpire says just Could bring have been it back 50 to him. Yeah. the boy out but no, to the umpire, so uh, Luke Roberts. Luke Roberts kicks the ball to the right on centre half forward area. Yes. Corrigan will fly over the back. Your the players here should mop up. Halliday. Halliday gets around. Oh, oh. good Under interception. pressure now. Here's a chance for Hank, and he snaps it towards goal. has gone through for a minor score, so Arndorf peppering, but can't quite get the score on the board at the moment, Collo. Yeah, eight to two of the inside fifties in Handel's favour, but we just see there what Handel for doing in your Adler can't. Mauchow gets the free kick on half back, kicks the ball back through the middle of the ground and finds a Handel player. Your Adler are just kicking two uh, contests at the moment. So Handel four six lead that your Adler three one. Second term, twelve minutes expired here. Ball driven out there by Pup Clements. Big leap over the top there. Looked like it was Yeds for big spoil. So it was actually Mauchow I think. Yeah. As the ball goes out over near the King, uh, sorry the uh, Zilla. Pavilion here at Lobethal Oval, so good crowd Third, in the house. 13 minute mark, pistols. So throw in Luke Roberts, double fists it down. Socket forward. Socket forward, loose ball, taken by Simon Ebert, gets out the back door to Tudor Source, sweeping long handball. 
Finds a teammate who drives it towards the wing area, up towards uh, Renshaw, I think it's. Takes a move it on. on that. Quickly to move Got it on there. here on the wing. Yep, have a sit for him. It's uh, Paddy Kepper again. Could go Gathers again. the ball. Good use. Good yep. vision Good as he stuff. spotted up a running teammate there in Worley. He That's takes the mark and he'd be some uh, 40 to 45 metres out from the Tweedvale in goal. Yeah, and this will be a good little escape for Uralu if they can get yeah. this and still be within uh, a goal and a half. So. But that Uralu defence, Kluvenik, uh, sorry, uh, Tudor was involved, yep. also Ivans, they just, uh, yeah, work for each other. So it's ended up with Worley, as I said, recalled for the grand final. Got the chance here to post their fourth goal of the afternoon. They're 3 1 trailing handle, 4 6. So towards the Tweedvale end, would the breeze bring it back? Left. No, not quite. So it goes through. They go to 3-2, yeah. 4-6, and we've played just over 30 minutes, second term. Joel Leak with the kick-out duties, or is it going to be Jacob Leak? That's Jacob Leak. So Jacob Leak with the kick-out duties for Harndorf. 14-minute mark, as Pistol said, 4-6, 3-2. Harndorf Leak, kick-out of defence, half-back flank. Renshaw, well, went in through his mitts, and he's collected it again. Handball out to Amato oh. on that left boot. It's coming back. Downfield for okay. kick. And actually, it would have been paid because he was dealt it's with after ball anyway by uh, Hankin. Yeah. Yep. And Travis Oakley with the opportunity. <laughs> right a bit of a late call there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. I think he's waiting to see if Oakley would take. So, from point blank range, Bang. Travis Oakley, his second goal of the match. Demons four. So, they move on to 4 2. Handle for 4 6. In a ring a ding ding here for the Division One crown as we come up to 14 minutes gone second term. Yeah, yeah, as we were just saying before with that shot on goal, this is a good little escape for you, Ray. I reckon they played eight minutes of really poor footy there, but they didn't get punished. So back in the game, a couple of uh, you know they kicked one goal one in the last couple of minutes, and you know it'll be up to them now to just to fix a couple of things out of half back, and I'm sure they can uh, put some scoreboard pressure on. But full credit to Handorf, they're doing a uh, really good job through that half back line. So hard or four point margin, four six to four two. They led by one point at quarter time, three two to three one. So ball coming back into the yeah, centre. Daniel Roberts, Troy Parker, Boers, uh, Dave Hankin, Hanby, uh, McDonald, Will Young, Remnant, and Amado. So big Daniel Roberts launches himself in the battle. Will Young, free kick. French says Roberts grabbed him, but in the meantime, right. umpires bring back to holding on. It looks like it's going to go to Big D Rob. So Daniel Roberts. Wants it on quickly here. Wants quickly to get wanting the ball back yep. as your Raider had cleared it. So the ball coming back. Big D Rob, of course, uh, memorable in that uh, 2015 drought breaking premiership victory. So the ball coming back is going to go to Hankin. Off he goes. So Dave Hankin runs over the cricket pitch area, goes inside 50. Getting back there is Ivan's uncontested mark for the Demons. Feeds the ball off to the run of Tudor. So Tudor saw us a pinpoint nailing pass oh, out there, fumbled out there by a teammate. But it was uh, Lee Belt. In the meantime, Yench of Perling, sorry, mops up. Gets the ball out wide and a good mark taken out there by Vergara, I think it is. Yeah, uh, the headband, Marcus Mark Vergara. He go on that right boot, kick inside, attacking 50, about 40 metres out from goal. Over the back, Darcy was lurking. Here's a chance for Buckley. He started this match well, bounce right to the edge of the goal line. Darcy yep, running oh, back. Oh, Darcy! Oh, I thought that was going to be punched through and he's just snapped him right at the last minute. Close like it through. I'll tell you what, talk about picking the pocket, Jane. Yeah, look. Kepper will probably want that uh, 10 seconds over again. Didn't run back hard enough. Didn't make a big enough uh, effort at the footy to get it across the line. And you don't need to give Hurricane half a look and he will make you pay. So. Buckley Collo, great game by him so far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah he's doing a sensational job, isn't he? So the Magpies 5-6, lead your own to 4-2. Come up to 16 minutes gone, second term. And Darcy Hurrigan, two goals for the quarter. Giving him three for the match so far. What's the it Centurion feel like out there now, Collo, weather-wise? Weather-wise, damn hot. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it is quite hot. In the, so uh, once again, that'll come into play, boys, because yeah, obviously hard off having an easy ride in, but uh, yep. momentum's a big thing in footy, and you're Yeah, there's so no breeze at all. Daniel Roberts puts the ball Hamby. down. Here's a chance for Hamby. Haven't called him a lot this afternoon so far. Puts the ball forward. Oh, oh fumbling mark was dropped there. Smother Ingram. Smother from uh, Robbie Kipper was Ingram. Gets out to brother Paddy. He runs into a big lot of trouble. Good enough to get out. Got back towards Robbie. Just. Fumbly football by Uraida. Sutton applies the pressure on Madsen. Meanwhile, Buckley the ball taken right by Buckley up to Big Dash. Yes! And that man again, Buckley. Well, I tell you what, Buckley's, He's on fire. Buckley's the favourite of the month for the moment, boys. Yeah. Was last night. Yeah, he's doing it again. <laughs> the namesake, isn't it? But, so, uh, 16 uh, degrees here at the moment. Colo feels like 13.7. I don't think so. Oh, I no, think no, don't no. Think so. It's really left a Nord off. It's hard work here for Colo. He's playing into a sweat. I tell you what, Big Dash is a chance to kick his third goal. For the yeah, well, quarter. as we said, Pistols have come into the grand final just uh, hit or miss, I suppose, over the last few years. That, that's come about due to Handel's pressure, though. Full credit to them because yep. uh, Kepper was out yep. there, but yep. due to the pressure, he fumbled and got a handle. So big dash towards the scoreboard end. Kick. 
be some 25 to 30 metres out, dead in front. Oh, charcoal chicken. And I tell you what, that's right. Cooking with gas, and so is Big Darcy. It's his third for the quarter. In fact, they've only kicked the three. 11 so, to two, the inside 50s handles away. So 11 to two. Oh, we got AFL scores. Here AFL we go. scores would go around the ground for Morgan's Choice. Ooh, Eagles 32, Demons 3. So could be the Battle of the Birds next Saturday at the G. And Buckley's gone into the middle, and we've got uh, Parker Bores in there. Also Nick Hankin, Daniel Roberts in ruck for Hardwolf. Also Remnant. we got McDonald, Amado, and Renshaw now having a bit of a sit in ruck. So Roberts straight up over the top of Renshaw, brings it to ground level. And oh, just get out of my way, says Nick yeah, Hankin. Nick Hankin yeah. He's giving away a free kick. It's got yeah. McDonald. Yeah, so the free kick's in the centre of the ground to be taken by Jared McDonald. Drives the Demons inside 50, pack off hands. First to get there was uh, Nick Hankin, made trying to redeem one. himself. Yeah, that's right, Goldie. That's a uh, ball held to him. So once again, a little bit of push and shove off the ball. Dale Lee bit involved. Big D Rob comes in as the enforcer. Now we contest the ruck duel. Ball comes down. First to get to be Amato. He's been busy in this first half. He's taking okay. the ground. Yeah. Ball comes out to the old man Buck. But in the meantime, Nick Amato, last year's male medalist, has been awarded a free kick. Very impressive. He's a... Uh, Opening half so far, Shane. Yeah, he's doing a really uh, good job through the midfield, nearly on his own. To be oh, honest. look at that. Great Oakley kick. making front position. He's playing And that's well a today. very good mark under the pressure of young Joel Leak. He's uh, kicked a couple, kicked one in this term. Their only goal for the quarter, Oakley, at the 14-minute mark. So two goals, one in the first, obviously, and one in the second. And uh, as he goes through his approach, goal kickers for Harndorf, Darcy Hurrigan's kicked four, Nykamp and Luke Roberts. And for your Adler... Oakley's kicked a couple, Kluvenick and Ivans. So, so speaking of male medalists, just uh, looking out the window of the dream make here, we have the, uh, oh, the current male medalist. Uh, the little master is in <laughs> attendance. We might see if we can get him. Meanwhile, the of action's course. back with Oakley. Sets a high kick towards the Tweed Bar entrance in goal. Has he got the carry? Certainly has, but not the accuracy in three for a minor score. So you're Might right. An interesting uh, interview with the little master after three beers rather than 35. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Of course, entertain us on uh, male medal night. Uh, so 4 3, you Radler trailing hand off 6 6. And coming up to nearly 20 minutes expired in the second term here in the fight for the 2018 Division 1 A grade final. final. So, great day of football here. Uh, actually, everyone's got into the spirit of things. It's the chimney going over there yeah, in the yeah, distance in the Valley of Praise. Because uh, we've got the, uh, the Pope man going. Actually, might get a comment on uh, Sammy Miles, the, uh, the Pope. Meanwhile, the kick out. Big leap there. Ball comes to ground. Chance there for your A to take it. Not cleanly as uh, stacks on the mill. And the umpire come and ball it up just inside the 50 metre arc for you Radler. 21 minute mark, left half forward flank for the Demons. So important period here, Hardorf kicking three goals through Hurrigan in this second term. Locked up, once again the umpire says, I'll oh, have it left half forward flank, Colo. Yeah, Hardorf have just squeezed the sponge a little bit this quarter. They're doing a really good job clamping down on a lot of that contested footy work. And once again, repeat stoppages. Um, Hardorf are really in control of sort of the tempo of the game at the moment. So the tie of the tape this quarter, three goals to Handorf, just the one to Uradler. So 6-6 uh, six, six to 4-2 advantage in favour of the Magpies. Once again, a rolling scrimmage. Ball comes out here just as Watton was about to head towards goal. The umpire had balled up. So here they go. Big leap by Roberts. Ball comes down the ground. Clearing kick away for, Ura uh, for the Magpies towards the wing area. Pack good spoil there by Thomas. Ball cleared away towards the top of the square. Bouncing ball. Good work by Ebert, tapped the ball further afield towards the pocket area. Braden Hopgood. Braden Hopgood. Perling. Perling's in there as well, but meanwhile, uh, looks like the boundary umpire signalled it's gone over the line, so it's a bit of uh, festivities yeah. firing up next to us, and why not your Raider have already two premierships this afternoon, and uh, they'll be keen to add a third one. Right forward pocket, boundary throwing inside, attacking 50 for your Raider. It's been there for the last couple of minutes, haven't quite got the opportunity yet to yep. uh, capitalise. Goal kicker for them in this quarter was Oakley at the 14 minute mark. Hurrigan kicked one at the three minute mark, 16 minute mark, and 17 minute mark. So still in attacking 50 here for your Adler. And Madsen wraps up his direct opponent. So ticking on to the 22 minute mark now, Colo. 6 6 hard or 4 2 your Adler. Ball spills out here. Ricky Ebert leads in the race for the ball. He's got assisted by a teammate there. He goes to ground. And once again over the boundary line. Looked like that was. Uh, 
Cleveland? I think for your Raiders, Handorf, even though they've dominated this quarter fairly well, the scoreboard hasn't got away from them. So that didn't happen two weeks ago. When they were dominated, they got a lot of goals kicked against so them. So opening in the ruck work, Dan Robs actually taking out a ball. Wakeley had an airy as he sport clearing kick away for Handorf. Bouncing ball, Will Young tried to tap it forward. Over the head of Buckley. Coming, charging through there strongly was... Leak ball comes back Williams. here, finally taken by Sam Williams. Haven't seen a lot of him this afternoon. Ball, Bouncing ball, ball towards the centre, push out. and a push out taken by Tudor. He's dispossessed by oh, Buckley. Buckley. Just yeah, hello. ironed him out. The ball comes in. Here's a chance for Amado. He's under hot pressure. Also in there is Perling, close to the boundary line. And in the end, the umpires paid a holding on uh, decision there, Free boys. Free kick for your in that left forward pocket area for your Raider, and it's going to Renshaw, is it? No, no, it or might Worley. be, uh, might be Darl Lee, but. Venture? Watton, I think it Watton, is. Yeah, Watton, I think it might be. Braden Watton. Yeah, get him out of your bag. 13 in the distance. Directly across from us, pistols near the playground. Yeah, near the playground, so chance here to uh, pull that margin back. Raid the 4 2, hard off 6 6, shadow of half time. Puts the ball towards the top of the square. Right the big lead line. there. Big fist comes out Eddie Yench. Off he goes, as he a bounce, to run. as he pulls away the four man late crow, then goes straight down the centre with a, a low barrel taken by Ivans, who sends it back from whence it came. Perling sets himself, they'll come from everywhere at the top. Ball comes to ground. Toe poke. Toe poke close to the line and rushed over for a minor score. So you're able to 4 3, hand off 6 6, 23 and a half minutes gone. Shane Collins. Yeah, some good work by the hand off defence. They're just uh, not giving your Adler any easy shots on goal at all. So kick in so duties went to Yench, gone to Mussolino with a little tight pass over the top, finds Parker teammate Boz. there in Parker Boz. Looks like he's shaved the head. Yeah, especially for the occasion. Goes they usually wait for Mad Monday for that Goldie. Along the wing. High ball. Ivan's presented himself. Off hands remnant. Goes towards Clements. Snaps the ball inside attacking 50. One on one battle here. Oakley versus Leak in Joel Leak, and it's gone out of bounds. Right forward pocket for Uradler. 6-6 six, six, handle, 4-3, Uradler. 25 minute mark. So boundary show in right forward pocket towards the tweed row in danger area for your aid. The big Daniel Roberts over the top, big fist down, but uh, finds a huge group of players over the top of it. Yench over the top of it as well. So once again, we'll have another ball up. So still tantalizingly close to goal for your aid if they're good enough. Scrambly play there. Once again, held up, and umpire rule will come in and ball it up as we've uh, 25 minutes coming up. You're able to need to create something here. Third man up, we'll get it wide. So Roberts wins the ball down. Jared McDonald with a flying shot, quick shot, but uh, out of bounds on the full. So uh, diffusing the issue will be uh, Matthew Yitch who will bring the ball back in from the uh, right next to the right hand behind post at the Tweedvale end of the ground. So the skipper, can he captain his first premiership for Handoff? Sets a high ball towards the King Wing. Big Dars is up from uh, oh, normal Roberts. territory. Roberts is up there. Comes down to Halliday. He's wrapped up in a couple of big tackles there. He's going nowhere. So the umpire will come in and ball it up. 26 minute mark. So late in the second quarter here. Three goals to Handoff in this turn through Hurrigan and Oakley one for your eight. A free kick here. Push out. Yeah, Will Young. Ruck infringement, was it? Will yeah, Young. Will Young, yep. Yeah, push out by Big Daniel D. Roberts. Roberts. Uh, having a bit of a chat to the umpire. Meantime, goes to centre forward. Here's a chance, Luke Thomas. Now he could potentially get the distance here. I'll tell you what, he just uh, I think the man in the market probably be on the arc, which is uh, Buckley. Probably should put a tall So look, obviously he fancies his uh, up chances here, Goldie's. He's a. Uh, Interesting, Amado and Hankin in a wrestle in the middle. So Luke okay. Thomas, he's got the journey. And right so on the post, on the post, right point post, the goal post. So right on half time, it's hard off 6-6, six, six, you're able to four goals, four. And um, 11 inside the Gee, they come back late. So interestingly, in the first two quarters, uh, hard off and kicked 3-3 three, three in both. So they're actually on the uh, tally of 6-6. Six, six. And you're able to 4-4 here half time of the uh, Division 1 A grade grand final. So back here at HFL Immediate, half time <laughs> Division 1 A grade grand final. Pistols and Goldie in uh, sun drenched Lobethor home. Uh, well, in the 
entertaining game. Shane Collins, the sun hat on. Do you want the sun block out there, mate? It's quite warm, I know. So 6-6 six, six to 4-4, four, four, and we uh, thought it'd be an entertaining game. It certainly lived up to all the uh, entries. Yeah, it has. And oh, yeah, interesting quarter to read there because... Uh, because uh, Handel fairly well dominated that quarter with the way the game was played, the tempo of the game. But, uh, you know, Uradler, to their credit, didn't let him get away. So although the uh, scoreboard's sort of, you know, two and a bit goals difference, uh, Uradler are still well in this. But they need some improvement. They need to lift a few of their midfielders. I reckon there's Jared McDonald, Simon Ebert, Ricky Ebert. Those three boys are key to them getting more of the footy. You can't question Nick Amato at the moment. He's doing a great job through the middle. Uh, Lukey Ivans has been sensational across half back. But um, I just think their midfield might need an improvement out of a couple of those boys. And they're just their pressure levels just need to find a, another standard. Handel's pressure went through the roof that quarter, uh, created a lot of turnover footy, and uh, that's why they got the score on the board. So it be interesting to see after half-time uh, whether that changes and if Handorf allow that to happen. So I just look at the goal kickers, boys, in the first half. And if you're a Handorf supporter, it's, uh, it's virtually been the uh, Darcy... Darcy Hurrigan show as he's uh, what's he kicked four goals boys Luke Roberts one young Nykamp yeah and for Eurader we have uh, two to Oakley one to Ivans and uh, Kluvenik yeah and hasn't Darcy put on a show some of those have been crackers one handed marks and uh, and uh, nice uh, nice good marks in the goal square. So, you know, he's standing a very good player in Luke Thomas. They are rotating a little bit on him. So um, they know the uh, importance of being able to get off Horrigan and get running. So uh, it'll be it'll be important to uh, to see how they go in the second half. All right. And as we said, uh, all the fun of the fair here on the hill. Uh, Goldie during the half-time mm -hmm. uh, break. Few of the Raidler boys uh, celebrating. Well, it's been a pretty good uh, day from so far. A couple of flags, just looking around at a uh, couple of players. Obviously, just emerged from the uh, club rooms, perhaps some of them. Shane, you know, yeah. this uh, being a... Exactly. It's uh, What a lovely picture it is today. I mean, half-time here, this um, great grand final we've got. And, you know, you're able to winning the last two, uh, last two grades, both... Uh, and uh, with good wins in both teams, uh, the Adler crowd to the left of us are generally fairly cooked already. They've been uh, on the juice and celebrating for a while. So um, it's uh, it's interesting. And there's a lot of kids out kicking the footy. Obviously, the barbecue smoke going across the oval. Uh, plenty of shorts and T-shirts and sunglasses and hats. And um, it's a wonderful day for football and a wonderful day for the HFL Grand Final. And just bringing up the date over in the West, uh, West Coast Eagles 45 are leading the Demons three oh. points so you suggest that uh, well things might be uh, getting a bit difficult there for the uh, you might be are you getting a little bit more excited about next week now you think or uh, no? well we'll wait yes. no no long way to go boys but uh, we'll see Yes, welcome back here. HFL Media started the second half here. Division 1 A grade grand final for 2018. Handel 6 6, leaving your Adler 4 4. I said play underway. Handel from the attack early. Cross half back ball comes to ground. Your Adler's driving to hold in. Handball out there. Shot around the corner. I tell you what, that's not a bad start. And big Das Hurrigan, he's doing a lap of honour after that one. Shane Collins is a magnificent snap. Cracking goal. 
attacking goal, the first minute of this quarter. Interesting, we said just before half time we need to get some Uradla midfields to lift their game, and we picked the Ebert boys. Uh, both Ebert boys starting on the bench in the third quarter, so um, interesting little thing there. But great goal by Burring, and that was uh, he's showing his class. Big Das once again, so within about 30 seconds of the play starting. Hard if we said uh, third quarter was going to be important for him to get to. Perhaps really turn the screws, and that's certainly a good way to start, that's for sure. So back in the centre. Roberts, big leap against Will Young. Ball comes down, down to ground level. Ball held in there under Halliday. Yench over the top of him, so once again, uh, umpire rule will commence play. Young, body work, gets the ball to ground. Sutton got the ball to Remnant. Quick kick forward coming out as Kluvenick. Sells a bit of candy as he tries to get round. Gets it back here around to Will Young. Quick kick away. Down here, spoiled off the ground uh, towards Oakley. Ball comes down there, Purling working hard. He's heavy in traffic. They get the ball at the back door to Eckerman. Eckerman along the line, bouncing ball out towards Madsen on the King Wing broadcast side. Grabs the ball, surveys what's on offer, goes towards Buckley. He's clean bowl, good enough to get back on it. There's a chance here for Bowes. He sweeps out the handball to Luke Roberts. He's got a chance to steady. This will test his ability. Can he get it? He's just saluting already, but uh, was offline there. It's. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, he was up and about already, yeah. uh, Luke Roberts, but uh, no banana there, Goldie. Yep, good start here. So Hurrigan with the opening goal, so he's getting five so far. Pretty good uh, return from your Centurion Grand Final uh, in a Grand Final, that's for sure. So Kepper with the kick-out duties here for your Raidler from the entry gate end. 7-7 seven, seven handle, 4-4 four, four your Raidler, kick in, goes down the throat of Halliday, it's in a half back. Looks out towards the interchange wing area. Good ball there by Eckerman. And that's gone out of bounds just near the interchange bench area. So boundary throw in, centre wing, two minutes mark of the third term. Always known as the Premiership quarter. And it's Handorf, seven goals, seven. You're able to four, four. Opportunity now for Madsen, hard at the ball against a couple of your Raidler players. And it's gone out of bounds, bound for throwing Collo. Yeah, I'm back to liking your Adler's structure. Four to the ball here. It's six on six. Sorry, five on five, an extra up the stoppage. Or Malaki's actually dropping back now to give him an extra. But they look far more dangerous when they've got more players. Four to the ball. Will Young to your Adler teammate there who's wrapped up in the tackle by Michael Hamby. Left half forward flank. So Hargill kicking towards the entry gate end in this fight, third term. Will Young got it down to Halliday, clearing ball from defensive 50 out towards centre wing. Number of players around the action. Flipped over the top to Watton. Here's a chance for McDonald. Goes with a short pass to Renshaw. Good pick up in front of the Zilla Pavilion. Raider still around the action. I think that was Amato. Kicks it one half forward oh, line. Kluvenig went up, other. but it's fall with each other. A couple of Raider players. Clearing kick there. Joel Lee goes to centre wing. Quick handball. Looks like Roberts goes to Buckley. Snaps the ball. About a five minute pass. Clash of bodies. And they'll be held up about 70 metres out from Handel's goal. Just a little half chance. Your Adler just lost there. Oakley and Kluvenek spoiled each other where one of them could have taken a chest mark. So, ruck contest half of Big Daniel Roberts stepped on a post taken by Cole Sutton. High kick around the corner. Bounces out towards the old timekeeper's box. Bouncing ball close to the boundary line. In fact, it's over the boundary line. Right in front of the uh, Hills uh, footy flicks cameraman, I'd suggest. Yeah, Roy. Roy, our man. Give us a wave out Give there, us a Roy. Roy. wave. Good man. Yep. So, Ruck throw in, boundary, Roberts, unopposed, wins the ball down. First to get on it there, driving the ball forward, looked like it was a Mardo. Ball going forward, Perling brings the ball to ground. First to get there will be Leek. Joel Leek. In the long sleeves, drives it towards half forward, looking in for Hankin, lurking behind the pack. He's beaten to the ball by uh, a Uradler player there. Ball spills out three. Buckley fighting very hard in there. Oh, a strong attack on the ball there. Finally, a clearing kick by Halliday for your Adler. Up towards half forward flank area. Ball spills out of the pack. Pulled back in. And once again, stacks on the middle. So the umpire will come in and ball up. Half the centre wing area. Interchange uh, flank side of the ground. Up they go. Roberts, big leap. Big Daniel certainly lifting in this uh, second half. Once again, at ground level. But it looks like uh, infringed your Adler play there in Halliday. Likes it stuff uh, at the bottom of the packs. See him quite often, so uh, resulting in a free kick on this occasion. So Tim Halliday towards the wing area. Picks out the hand off skipper, Matty Yetch, who takes the mark and just slows down proceedings as the, uh, the smoke's starting to build. Yeah, charcoal chicken. Around. Yeah, big leap back there. Oh, stacks on him. Here's a chance. Oh, crumb. oh great crumb. Grab there, no, puts it up to Hankin. Bang! And Dave Hankin just strolls in for the easiest of goal. So, but full credit there to Nye Camp, I think, was yep. Goldie. Well yeah. done. Set that one up. Collo. 
Yeah, once again, just the skill level off half back. There was an open ball there for your Adler, and they've kicked it straight to Matty Inch, turnover, and then uh, make some pay going out the other end. So, full credit to Handorf. They're uh, making the most of these opportunities. Your Adler really need to put a stop gap in here because the scoreboard is starting to get away from them. We did say this third quarter will be imperative for uh, your Adler to try and keep their uh, in the contest, and certainly uh, opening in the first five minutes. Uh, Handorf added two goals. Your Adler uh, yet to get on the board in the second half, so. Handoff just building here. In the middle, Daniel Roberts, Dylan Madsen, the vice captain. Uh, looks like Michael Hanby. And is it Yench? And also for your Raidler, well, Will Young, uh, Amado, I think McDonald, is it? So umpire rule sets the play yep. up. Big lead there by Roberts. Ball comes down there, trying to get the ball. It was McDonald. Comes out here to that man. Yes, goes long from inside the centre square. Roberts. Towards the pocket here to Luke Roberts. That's a good tumbling mark. Not paid by the umpire. Lurking there was a teammate. Gets it back here to Roberts. Swiping handball in the direction of Hankin. Gets a cruel bounce close to the boundary line. Can he keep it in? No. But uh, great transition out of the centre by the former Adelaide Crochet Collins. It is, and uh, it's getting uh, dangerous times for Handoff when David Hankin splitting forward of the ball, you know you're in trouble. So Young, Madsen, dispossessed mid-air, ball goes to ground. Desperation states now for Eurada uh, trying to hold up this surging Handorf side. Uh, Tudor Soros in there picking himself up. So once again, Ruck duel. Roberts got the top down, locked up there. Once again, was uh, looks like it was Robbie Kipper yep. for the Demons. So, so. So 30 metres out from goal for Handorf, deep inside attacking 50, they're on a bit of a run here, a couple of goals in this third term. Out towards the boundary line was Amato, snaps the ball out of defensive 50, Renshaw gets it on to Lee Belt, snaps it out towards centre wing area where we're broadcasting from, it's taken by Travis Oakley. So Oakley, king wing area, the Labathal Oval, waste no time, goes bang inside 50, looking for the target back there, making ground back there is Rench, is uh, Kluvenik, ball goes to ground, Malcho, good body work, got rid of his opponent. Clearing kick from Hardoff up kick. the wing gets found at Leek. In turn gives it to run of Vagara with the headband. High Whopper goes forward. Nykamp. Bouncing one ball. One. Nykamp against Robbie Kepper. Ball goes to the ground. They both lock it in. And half forward flank area in front of the uh, adoring Handorf Masses, no doubt. Finally, can they sense premiership victory on uh, grand final day? They've lost the first four uh, grand finals of the day. So hopefully the A grade can home, bring home the major prize. Ruck duel. Ball comes down. Amato went without it. In the meantime, it looked like he was infringed, yes, says the umpire. So Nick Amato will get the benefit of the free kick. And no doubt a bit of advice as he retrieves the ball from the uh, just in front of the Harndorf crowd. So Amato, last year's male medals, chips up the line looking for Worley. Sport, Yetch grabs the ball. Can he control it close to the Ooh, line? Oh, taken heavily. Yep. And, uh, so Matty Yetch, Worley coming in a bit high. So Yetch... Yep. We'll take the mark and free kick, sorry, right in front of the uh, dream maker here in the King Wing area. So Yenchi looking for options upfield, kicks it towards the half forward line. Number of players around this over the top, oh. Cooper Nykamp. What a spectacular mark. He did the twist. He did the twist and then came down on his feet, looking inside, attacking 50. The youngsters are standing up in this third term. Nykamp goes into the pocket, Roberts, Luke Roberts takes the mark. And he'll go back. Great mark there, I Colin. I tell you what, Shane Collins, uh, Cooper Nye can be the type of player, young player you could see develop at another level if he's uh, <laughs> oh, taken under the wing by someone. Got no doubt about that, mate. If he uh, if makes he... the choice to try at the high level, he's got all the attributes to get there. So uh, at this stage, he's just really being elite in this uh, this Handorf side. And he so, could go to any level he wish. So Luke Roberts already kicked a goal in the first quarter. So he's got uh, 20 for the season. Trying to emulate his Gonzi number with number 21, but it's across the goal face. So It'd actually look good in Crow's Colours, Pistols. Just saying. <laughs> so, minor score. Hard off, they move on to 8-7. Your Adler a 4-4. Goldie, nine minutes gone, third term. Yep, Hurrigan with five goals. So, here's a chance for Ivans. Kick the first goal for your Adler in that first term. Clearing kick out of the fence. Worley, the intended target, went over the top of Yench. Gazes the ball, handballs to teammate Darren Thomas. Back to Worley. They're under the pump here. Yench will stroll to 50. Have a shot for goal. Oh, what a sensational goal from the skipper. Doesn't he love that, Colo? Yeah, cracking goal. Just their pressure's too big for your Adler at the moment. Too many turnovers, and their uh, class players are hard off for just finishing on the scoreboard. Eight to one inside fifties. That's a, a domination, domination of this third quarter. I tell you what, they came from everywhere to congratulate the skipper there, and uh, a man who's parked just around from that point post with a great view of that as yeah. he ran into us. Uh, of course, the great man who was here earlier, BJ. Yitz, oh, Beach. 
So Beige would be pretty happy with his son's work. Actually, seen him at quarter time with the great coach in Richard Hill that we oh, spoke about earlier today. Okay. So Hilly's here as well. Well, two Handorf greats and uh, well, great goal there from uh, one of the current Handorf greats and Matty Yentz. So back in the centre, nine eight Handorf. You ride the four four. Starting to slip away. It's comes down to Jared McDonald. He's held up in a big tackle, but uh, taken high. So Jared McDonald right in the centre of the ground. Past dual premiership player with Mount Barker. Goes wide looking for Renshaw. Marks in front of Eckerman on this occasion, just inside the 50 metre arc for Eurata. So one of their first deep penetrations in the third quarter towards their forward 50. Big leap from behind by Leek. Ball spills down. There's Amato, always a danger man. Has a, light, has a quick look at the goal. Getting back there okay, is well Madsen. Done. Just got his hand to it and uh, forced it through for a minor score. The first score of the second half to Eurata. They move on to 4 5, but they need to do a bit of work as Handorf lead 9 8. So kick in duties. Yench kicked the last goal. Goes out towards the uh, Charcoal Chicken uh, Pavilion area. And it's a free kick here for Eckerman. Just cooking up a storm over there at the moment. Pistols are back into it. Eckerman kicks the ball uh, along the wing area. Ivans went up, went over the back of him. A couple of Euradler players should mop up here. Looks like Thomas, is it? Darts away. Yep. Has a bounce. Handles into the middle of the ground. Under pressure here will be Kepper. Chasing was Vergara. Got away with that one. Just Thomas, Great though, pressure. under pressure again. Handorf raising the bar here. And they should be able to get it through to Buckley. Taps it on. Yep. Just sheer weight of numbers here. Yeah, is the ball's no. got to come back. Free kick to Buckley. But uh, we talked about the pressure that uh, Eurader bought in the first term, Shane Collins. Well, it's, uh, it's boots on the other foot. Yeah, that look, it, to play. it's got nothing on what's being dished up at the moment. Handorf have gone to another level. So Matt Buckley is He's one been of good. the He's success been good. stories of the season. Uh, Yeds lurking, he wanted the hand off, but Buckley decides to go himself for a long left footer. Roberts. Top of the square, oh. Roberts went up early, perhaps could have yeah, infringed, in yeah. fact he did. Yeah, good call. He actually left for that, he started leaping for that last night. <laughs> yes, he was that early, so free kick in defence. Looks like it's going to be uh, Tudor, Just is it? Leave or it. I say Chris Clements, perhaps. Don't as touch. The, mm -hmm. As the ball is, uh, looks like it's uh, been a... To Tweedvale Main Street now, comes back to Michael Tudor. So Tudor handballs it off to Clements. Rob. So Clements goes short up the line for one's Worley. So Demons, possession football along the King wing. Goes wide to the run of Renshaw. He's covered plenty of ground. Slips catch there. Did he hold it? Yes, says the umpire. So Renshaw, halfback flank area. As we said, played here two years ago for Torrens Valley and a losing team. Rob. Looks like it might be going that way at the moment. Can Kicked up the line. The kids. The kids. Ball comes down here. Driven inside by Jacob Bleak. Ball fumbled there. Close to the line, stacks on the mill, and we will have a ball up. Apologise for the bit of the noise in the background, the special effects bike. Just moving, John. So, ruck duel, ball comes down there. Hankin tries a miracle step, ball comes through and worked over the line in the end by Patrick Kepper for a minor score for Handorf. So, they move along to 9 9, leading your to 4 5. 13 minutes gone, third term. So kick in duties, finds Halliday at uh, centre half back area. So Halliday goes out of defence, goes towards the interchange bench area, and it's taken here by is that Kepper. He goes with a short option up the line, finds Lee Bell. So patient build up here for your railer. Need a goal. Goes out towards a real smoky wing area. And it's gone out of bounds. I'll put, I'll put the moz on the play here, but I just can't see where you're able to get their next goal. It's uh, really struggle street <coughs> for them in what, their foot. I tell you what, there must be about 12 pipes because they'll be battling the sea uh, with that smoke, <laughs> smoke there. Yes. They must have half a hatchery in there cooking it there. <laughs> Randall Weeks over there. So the ball throws in. <laughs> ball comes out there. A strong attack on the ball by both sides. As the ball comes to ground, and we'll have a ball up. So... Uh, Goal kicker so far, the quarter pistols. Yeah, Harry. big dash with uh, one, Hankin with uh, Dave Hankin, and uh, of course, Matty Yentz was that special shot just uh, a while ago. Yeah, So brilliant. ball coming inside. Up they go, fisted to ground level. Young Oscar Waters lumbering there, but uh, driven forward by Handoff. Ball bouncing in Vigara the Vergara closing. Vergara with oh, a bit of play. Well done, chucks man. the ball and he'll use the space. Brilliant. Then goes with the foot, suckers the ball further afield. First to get there will be Kepper, Patrick Kepper. Half-back flank area, gets around Hankin, gets support back there from Worley. He runs himself into trouble, good enough to get around it. Gets on the right foot, tumble punt in the middle of the ground. We'll pick up by Hanby. Fumble, what he should have taken Ivans, his former North Adelaide teammate. Got it, got around the corner to Williams. Bouncing ball, 
Intercepted there by uh, Renshaw. Renshaw, who's now in defence. Wobbly old kick up the centre of the ground, falls in the hands of Omato in the cricket pitch area. Drives towards half forward flake, getting back there is the Stallion, not paid. Taken here, oh, running oh. into trouble is Kluvenek. Thank Gone you very for much. all money. Thank you very much. So a good tackle applied by young Adam Eck, Ashley Eckerman, sorry for the magpies. Colo, it's been the younger players in this third term. Yeah, they have uh, lifted their intensity and they've done a great job. That bit of play there on the, uh, on the wing there. By Vergara was just a standout. He wanted that more than anyone. Sorry, e e sorry. Eckerman goes to Williams. Yeah, Williams with the ball just on the edge of the cricket pitch. Surveying what's on scene for him. Decides to go long. Got close to the man. The mark, so the kick's high. Hamby. Getting back there was Hansby. Territory oh, off right, the right. line. Ter uh, really dispossessed. Taken there by uh, oh. Remnant. He's dumped big time by uh, Parker Bowles. Tackled there by Parker Bowles with the uh, Pal Pepper look. Yeah. And that's not just on Instagram. <laughs> so we'll have a, uh, a throw up. <laughs> So right half forward flank for uh, Harndorf. And once again, a fierce tackle. And we've got a stoppage 50, 50 metres out from goal. So, so ruck duel. Hamby doing yep. the ruck duel. Remnant also two unlikely ruckman. Ball comes to ground there. Comes back out a quick kick away there around the corner by... Jacob Leake. Leake. Ball towards the back. Puck taken by Ivans. He's battling hard for his side. Puts up towards the direction of Ricky Ebert. Over the head of Malcho. Handoff drive it back in. Once again, a foot race. Well done by Ivans in front of who is their coach's lead boy and example yeah, today, hasn't he's, he? He's grabbed that right hamstring. I tell you what, he came in under a bit of a cloud, but he certainly played his heart out here this afternoon, Shane Collins. And we can see why he was such a great warrior in uh, 194 games for the mighty North Adelaide Roosters. Boundary throw in right on the 50. Hack kick forward by Hanby. One-on-one -on -one battle here. Luke Roberts will collect it. It's immediately tacked, wrapped up in the tackle. Could have been holding the ball. And it's uh, about 30 metres out from Hardorf's goal king towards the entry gate end. They lead 9-9. You're able to 4-5. 17 minute mark in the third term. So umpire Smith sets the ball up. Knocked around there. Fed out a handball. Threading his way through traffic. As Thomas goes for a long bomb towards the wing area. Oh, big D. Rob got up. Couldn't complete the mark. Oakley fumbles the ball. Taken by young Oscar Waters. He's thrown around like a rag doll. Gone. And holding the ball. So the youngster just sheer weight of numbers there. Uh, Big Daniel Roberts just appealing there. He should get the free kick, but it's gone back to Joel <laughs> Leake. So it's a magpie ball, whatever way you look at it. He goes short up the line to Yench. Takes the ball on the true king wing centre position. So Yench with the ball just around from us here. Kicked a nice goal in this third term. So Yench will lob it to within about 30 metres out from goal. Number of your Raider players backing back. Ivan's oh, one, two, three. Again. Taking a mark. No, off hands. Ball hits the deck. Oh, Hanby. there's a chance. Hanby. Hanby. He's got a few touches in the last Out few minutes, and that's a brilliant goal. Out of nowhere, Michael Hanby, Shane Collins. Yeah, I think this game could be gone, boys. I've just not seen enough from Uradler. There's nothing in the first 15 minutes of the game. Uradler's half-forward line was elite. They were leading up at the footy. They were clean with the ball. They were giving scoring opportunities. Since that time in the game, they have not shown that at all. And to Handorf's credit, they've closed that down, and they're now consolidating going Inside their way. Inside 50s, Rob. 12 to 3 inside 50s this quarter well, and just complete domination by Handel. It's a tail to tape as they lead 10 at 9 to 4 5. They led 6 6 to 4 4. So they've added uh, four goals. You're right, just the uh, one behind in the second half. So can they mount some sort of uh, comeback here, you're right, But do you suggest it's been a hard road for them, boys? And okay. perhaps uh, the class of the Magpies here just uh, running amok. So they'll be back in the centre. Big Daniel Roberts. He'll be up against uh, Will Young. He's batted manfully all afternoon. Still perfect conditions out here for football. Up they go. Roberts gets a tap down. Taken away by McDonald. His kick by was smothered. Williams. Thomas back on it. Feeds the ball at Renshaw. He went without it. Here's Madsen barring it through. Here's that man Ivans. Puts his body over the ball. Stin the uh, flow of the ball. And it develops into a uh, packed situation. So once again, the umpire will come and ball it up. Left half forward flank for Handorf. Really pressing here. We'll get some scores from uh, around the ground very shortly. Ball shoveled out to Will Young. Tries to get it on quickly to Amato. Wills it onto his boot. One bounce hit the cricket pitch to Travis Oakley. Quick handball on to Ricky. Ooh. He hacks the ball inside, attacking 50. One on one battle here. It'll be Hopgood versus Simon Ebert. Simon Ebert. Ball comes out to Ricky Ebert. Hacks the ball on, running into the goals. Here's a chance for Oscar Walters, but it's paddled through for a minor score by Daniel Roberts. Pistol. So as we go around the ground, Collingwood 97 have defeated <laughs> Richmond 58. And over in the west, we'll just, it's the Eagles uh, well in charge. You just locked on that page for a while. Yeah, locked do you on the page here. Rob, do you want to give us <laughs> <some>, uh, <laughs> He's locked on sorry, the Sorry, I can't get it off that page. It, 
But anyway, back here. Yeah, it's got a booming barry to barrel. Reaches inside the cricket pitch area. Great kick, but then a good mark taken there by Lukey Thomas. Yeah. He'll send it back, but uh, Matthew Yentz showing his kicking ability. Thomas sends it back inside 50. Pack, big leap there. It was uh, the stallion Is that the mark, isn't it? It's a mark. Young fella, Lee mark. took the ball. Well, well he's free anyway. paid the Locked free, up yeah. in it. So I think it's young Oscar Waters. Yep. Smallest man on the ground. Bobbed up, taking a mark there, or a free kick, either way. What do yeah, we got? As we get back to it, sorry, boys. Uh, Eagles 69 and the D's 6. So not a good day for the red and no. blue at the moment here. No, it's just not. Jane. So Oscar Waters, as we just look up his stats, uh, has kicked seven goals for the season here on uh, HFL Media Data. Yep. So left footer. Is he? Yeah, that was right. Well, he kicked that one right foot. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Perhaps he should have kicked that left, left footer. Probably should have. It's a minor score. He, uh, yeah, so, you're Adler. Moving along to four goal eight, ten goal nine. So, six goal margin here, Shane Collins. You suggest the uh, the soprano might be on her way. Up yeah, on the I Valley think it's Road. kitchen sink time for your Adler. I'd get Thomas in the middle, load up. Maybe Ivan's get in the middle as well. They just need to power it forward. Get the Ebert boys forward. Just put all the talent on the ground they possibly can. Either midfield forward, and if they go down by ten, so what? Go down swinging. So, yet yeah, another big, strong kick out. Mark out there was taken by Daniel Roberts. Correct, got the run of Madsen who goes further afield looking for Hankin. Will it sit for him in the opposition to Robbie Kepper? Patrick Kepper tries to get around him. Kepper, uh, yeah, he slips out. Well done by Hankin. Oh, he's met heavily there. And I tell you what, keep your eye on that. He's uh, down, uh, feeling a little bit sorry for himself, Dave Hankin. So As, uh, we'll have a uh, boundary, sorry, a ruck duel right in front of the old team, team uh, timekeeper's box. Handoff 10 9. You're right, the 4 7. The title slipping away. 20 and a half minutes gone, Goldie. Free kick here from that stoppage. Is that McDonald? So he kicks the ball along the uh, Zilla wing area. One, two, three, almost a mark there. We've got the sun right off the car, right mm. in the eyes there. That's okay. Can see through that. Hack forward by Urela. Walters trying to get oh, the ball. Yench. Oh, Yent, good spoil no, out towards the boundary line. Contrasting the... conditions. We had uh, Colo getting frostbite last week. Today he's getting uh, sunburnt. Yeah, it is, mate. Getting cooked today. A, uh, a great conditions here. What have we got here? One grand final. Looks like young Walters. He's getting another free kick right in front of the uh, pavilion. Oh, he hands Campbell. the ball off to the runner. But Marto with that left foot goes bang towards the top of the square. Getting back there with uh, the comb over man Ingram. He gets the ball across to Madsen. Sorry, Eckerman. Yeah, Eckerman. He handballs up to the comb over man. He's brushed up well. Gets a further up the line and a mark taken there by uh, Jacob Leak, is it? Sorry, Ingram running on, gets the ball in towards Nick Kick. Hankin, takes a sliding mark on the wing area. So Hankin gets it on quickly. Oh, he, he, he combed his hair as he ran past. Ah, characteristic. Brilliant stuff. That's Kicks the ball inside, attacking 50. Intended target was Luke Roberts. Went through the midst of Luke Ivans. The uh, Uradler playing coach goes out the wing and finds a Ricky Ebert. Ebert chips yeah. the ball, didn't looking for Kluvenick. Free One kick. One bite, two bite, but uh, umpire Smith. Rules that uh, Dylan Madsen infringed the uh, Uradler skipper, so virtually in the centre of the ground. Kluvenek on the left goes out towards the flank area, looking for Ebert. Eggerman. Ball comes off the ground. Here's our man again. Just brush the hair, will he? Yeah. As Ingram, cool, calm, collected, gets up to another hair man in Madsen. Speaking of cook blokes, the comb over's gone. He's just had six touches in a minute. <laughs> great, <laughs> great few minutes of footy by him. Starting to run across the ground here. Tifa falling out the comb, Colo. Yeah. There's a long kick inside 50. Oh, big leap over the top. Defensive spoil there came from Chris Clements. Ball comes down to Sutton. Got it to the run there of J.R. McDonald. Further afield goes to Halliday. That's a good passage of play. Finish it off, young man, as he runs inside 50. Looking up towards Oakley oh, territory. Right. But uh, young Leek has learned from the first quarter as he's playing in front of Oakley and clears the ball effortlessly. Park finds Parker Balls just in front of the Zilla Pavilion. Quick handball on to Aidan Mussolino on that left paw. Uh, foot strolls past the interchange band. Oh, oh. Over Roberts. the top there was Luke Roberts. Quick handballs over the top. One, two, three. Here's a chance for Handorf throwing in the goal. And uh, Jacob Leek has missed it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you just sense now, Colo, you just sense the uh, the tempo is dropping out of your Adler's chase. Yeah, it has. Yeah. And, the uh, game's open. Danger, danger time here because this could get very ugly. Correct. Be like you looking in the mirror on a Monday. Oh, Correct. It's so a beautiful man, here, Colo. Waiting here for the kick out. Lucky you smashed all your mirrors at your place, Pistols. <laughs> I don't have any, mate. <laughs> Never have. <laughs> Ball out towards the wing area. Here's a chance. Ball hits the deck. And, oh, that could be the free kick, it is. Yeah, pulled without the ball. So it looks like Jared McDonald. So uh, he's worked pretty hard this afternoon, the uh, pass Mount Barker dual premiership player. Chips out wide. Taken out here by uh, teammate. Drives it further afield. Tom Worley. Tom Worley. Thought it Great was mark. down to... Uh, Oakley, so a good one-handed mark there. 
as uh, Ingram got rid of uh, Kluvenek behind the play. So it's Oakley, high kick. Lurking there as it came over. Oh, I've shrugged off the ball there. Got to be a free kick every day of the week yep. as Amato yeah. slung off the ball. So right in front of the uh, scoreboard, which reads Handorf 10-10, you're the 4-7. 25 minutes gone in the third term of the 2018 Division One Premiership decider coming to you on HFL Media, Lofty Media and 5 Triple R in Woomera. Looks like there's been a uh, advanced penalty also, Goldie. I know a bit of lip there. So Amato will be taking the point-blank range. I dare say not even Rob Shearwood could miss it from there. And through it goes. So Nick Amato raises the first goal for Eurata since the 14-minute mark of the uh, second term. Colo? That was much needed. Now they need to get one. They can get another one here. And then I'll be really interested to hear what Lukey Ivans has got at three-quarter time. They need to, uh, as I said before, they just need to go for broke now. They need to knock the ball forward as much as possible, play on, and uh, just get some leg speed around their forward half. That's what's sort of hurting them a bit at the moment. So back in the centre, umpire Brian Rule. So Handorf, just their lead a little bit uh, reduced, 10 to, 10 to 5, 7, 25 minutes gone, third term. Ball comes down, taken by Remnant, runs across the cricket pitch, high kick. Coming back here is uh, Ingram. Over. Ingram takes the mark. Great quarter of footy. Yeah, well played, Comb over, he gets it wide out to King Green. Here's Yench, been running all day. He'll certainly run to that final sign. Try to fill about a little bit of candy. First on the right foot goes long and Darcy. Fred Darcy territory over the top. Darcy that. goes to ground under the uh, pressure of Patrick Kepper. Ball over the boundary line, the right forward pocket. Tweed Vale end of the ground. 25 and a half minutes gone. Third term. 10 10 the Magpies. You're right to 5 7. Deep inside attacking 50 here for the Magpies. 26 minute mark. Probably one of the last plays of the quarter. So boundary throwing. Inside attacking 50 for Handorf. Clearing the ball from defence was Watton. A couple of hard-off players there, but good mark, good mark there by Kluvenek. Got to move it on quickly. Kluvenek goes out to one on two. It'll be Travis Oakley. Good spoil there by Joel Leake towards the boundary line. Coming through was McDonald. And a good smother by Joel Leake. Sees the ball out of bounds. Centre wing. Not a bad result to go out of bounds. He only had Oakley there in 30 metres of space on two opponents. So they can reset here at the half-forward line and hopefully get the ball forward. Amato down here on his haunches. He's... Uh, running hard all day but there's his warm conditions to be taken the top. Oh absolutely he's been amazing today. Even the fittest athlete finds it uh, a bit stressful out there Shane as you'd know. Yeah. And in the yep, meantime three quarter it. time siren goes so I'll let you find the energy to walk out there. As Handorf 10-10 you're able to 5 7 three quarter time 2018 Division 1 A grade grand final here on HFL Media. This is Damien Salibi from the Blackwood Football Club and you're listening to the coverage of the 2018 Hills Football League season here on HFL Media. Hi, Ross Brooks from the Mount Barker Football Club and you're with the vibe of the Mortgage Choice Hills Football League here on HFL Media. Hillsfooty.com, proudly brought to you by Mortgage Choice Adelaide Hills in association with HFL Media. So Goldie back here at three quarter time. As we get the champion data stats Official here. paperwork. Doing a good job on the uh, keyboard here this afternoon, Robbie Shearwood. 15 to 6 inside 50s for hard off that quarter. And uh, dominating the taps, 52 to 15. Goals for that quarter, pistols. Yeah, well, Darcy Hurrigan continuing on his good form, kicking his uh, fifth goal. So uh, one to Darcy, Dave Hankin, Matty Yench with that uh, great long finish. And then Michael Hamby with that opportunity to snap out of the uh, flank area. And then Nick Amato, late in the term, got their first goal since the 14-minute mark. So return a full goal to one in favour of Handorf. Uh, sees them lead by uh, 33 points. Goldie, yep. after they led by 14. Sorry, one point at uh, quarter time, 14 at half time. They've uh, increased that to 33 points. So you suggest... The Raiders would have to pull something special out of here. Um, well, they've, well, really. they've done it before, haven't they? 2011, yeah. they were down by five goals. Yeah. So it's just a tick over that. But um, and actually, we were lucky enough to speak to the man who actually played a key role in that uh, victory. Of course, uh, yeah, Paris. Paris Fowl and the big yep. Frenchman. Good to see him drop in here this afternoon. So, cast of thousands as uh, supporters get out there to uh, hear the final huddles and words of wisdom from their coaches for the uh, 2008. Yeah. season. Just uh, digressing slightly, Pistols, of course, you're a big Collingwood supporter. What's the plans for next uh, 
next weekend. Of course, I drove over last year. You've flown before. I've flown as well. What's the plans for the big for the big day? You you, you uh, book your flight. What yeah, time flight do you was leave? already booked. Uh, so oh. uh, six thirty fly out. So it was either you or Matt who was going. Yeah. So early start. Yeah. Um, so get it. I suppose about nine o'clockish. Yeah. And then, then head on. in. Head in. I'd suggest. Watch yeah. all the festivities and. Yeah. Yeah, watch, watch as you did last year to kick across the, yeah, uh, the all, Yarra, that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, a bit so. of fun. It's all about the, Take like, like what's going on now. It's all about what's yeah. happening on the day as well. And I just think, unfortunately, uh, when you think of the mass of Collingwood supporters, they won't, I'm pretty privileged to actually be able to yeah. be there because ticket sales will be, well, as I uh, said, like rocking horse droppings uh, this week available for the general public, the corporate thing. But, uh, well, that's the money that makes the uh, HFL, AFL go around, of course, so... So last year's grand final, same uh, time, Pistols. Um, Blackwood um, Hardwell stormed home in the last quarter with eight points, but fell short, kick after the siren there by Dave Hankin. Missed, and they'll be coming t home towards that end in the final term. So an opportunity of sorts to, um, to uh, rectify last season, kicking to the same end as they finished last season. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the wind uh, factor here today, Gold. No, fact, no, perfect. It has been pretty good. Hi folks, uh, it's Graham Corn speaking and you're taking the best of Adelaide Hills community footy right here on HFL Media. Yeah. Hi, Mark Nielsen here from the Mount Lofty Footy Club. You're listening to the vibe of the Hills football on HFL Media. Cheers. Hillsfooty.com. Oh, yeah. Proudly brought you got me there, boys? Mortgage Choice yeah, Adelaide gotcha. Hills. Call in association with HFL gotcha. Media. Yep. Yeah. Just out here in the middle, Lukey Ivans brought the uh, Radler team in straight away. He was pleading with them, pleading with them to take risks. We said that they've been slow with their ball movement. They haven't been back through the middle. He just said, we have to take this game on. We've got to get back through the middle. We must play on at all times. And uh, he just asked them to make sure that they don't die wondering. Don't leave anything in the tank, which is a fairly standard message, obviously, for grand final day. Handoff, Matty Golding, what a fantastic little three-quarter time speech. Give him his credit there. He kept him calm. He uh, said that he does not want to project what happens in 30 minutes. He wants to project what happens in the next 20 to 25. And he's asked them to continue playing the football they've played for three quarters. They do not slow the game down. Do not go into stoppages. No extra men behind the ball. They're trying to kick four or five goals this quarter to uh, to uh, hurt the scoreboard in the first 25 minutes and not think about the final results. So two contrasting Speech is there at three-quarter time, but probably as the scoreboard would reflect. So, back up to you boys in the Dreammaker. Thank you very much there to uh, Shane Collins. as always very uh, astute observations of what's yeah. happening. No, Goldie, he's, uh, he's what the, do we need? That's well, the 33-point margin. Gee, they need a miracle here, wouldn't they? Well, yeah. This you first suggest, as I said, they either go for the respectability or things do get a bit ugly. This first five minutes is the key. Just saying, Shane, on the way back, as you made your way back, uh, good to see you, mate. You're not tired. I know it's a bit, bit of a hard walk there, and uh, the man's arrived with the uh, refreshment for you. Yeah, he's done well there, hasn't he? Uh, so. Your Raider really need to sort of show some fight here. It could get ugly for Absolutely. Them, as we called, they've, um, you know, they probably need to do it a little bit earlier. They're probably a bit too far back, but they've got to play with Gay Abandon. They've just got to go. They've got to take it on, run from behind. Um, I'd like to see, uh, remember a couple of weeks ago, young Dale Liebelt went forward, kicked two freaky mm. goals. Something like that needs to inject them. So we'll see what comes of it. Just starting in the middle final term for your Adler, Nathan Remnant, Will Young in ruck. Uh, looks like McDonald. And also coming off the back of the square here. Looks, looks like, like Thomas Tudor. has come up to the wing here too, boys. Interesting yep. for your Adler. Okay, the last term of football, season 2018 in the Hills Football League. Ball comes down from the ruck contest. Looks like Hamby applying a tackle there on Amado. So uh, once again, sorry, it was McDonald's. So once again, umpire Smith will uh, come in and recommence proceedings. Centre of the ground. Young up against Roberts. Roberts wins it down. Spills forward. Type of hope forward by Dylan Matson for the Magpies. Coming to meet it. Good work there by Uradler. Held up there. So umpire will come in. That was uh, Robbie Kepper. Good work there to defuse that, uh, temporary defuse that forward push. Ruck duel. Hamby doing the ruck work. Wins the ball down, taken by Renshaw. Gets a quick kick away. Bit of a mung barrel up towards Lee Belt. He's sport there. First to get there was Halliday. Big Daniel Roberts fists the ball clear. Vigara. Picked up here by Vergara. Goes inside 50. Roberts. Darce territory. But what I want about Darcy, 
Lukey yeah, Roberts just put the Dukes his, up. His uh, direct opponent there just slipped over at the last moment, Pistols, and it enabled Roberts to take an easy overhead Yeah, it's hard to mark. do defending on your knees on the yeah. ground, unfortunately, for Renshaw there, wasn't it? So Luke Roberts still struck on that uh, 20 goals. He kicked one at the uh, early in the first term, has had a couple of shots. So this one would be certainly within his quick kicking distance, Shane, but uh, the accuracy might be questionable. So Lukey Roberts... Straight in front, Pistols. Could be party time down at uh, Dashwood Road tonight. Charcoal Chicken Roberts. is cranking for a no, point. he's pushed it forward. No, so he'd be a bit disappointed with Roberts. He's had a, a few shots at Just missed that one. Just a quick update. River Murray Grand Final. Manham 6-9. Imp 6-5. Three-quarter time. Ooh. Well. Game on. Certainly is. So, so kick in for Uradler. Is that Kepper? Yeah. So Kepper, look for a short option here. Potentially Paddy Kepper. Eventual. So Paddy Kemp Kepper. Kicks out of the defensive 50, edge of the square. Roberts goes up. That was Daniel. Ball hits the deck. Mussolino coming off the wing. Crunched by a couple of Ra Raider player. Ball spills out. Once again, Daniel Roberts has got the comb over out here by himself on the wing. But it should be Uraila through the middle. One, two, three was... Oh, no. Madsen uh, cuts him off. He'll win. A f oh, yep. It's gone against him. Free kick. So oh, it's gone one way than the other. So Madsen, Madsen free kick. Madsen tried to pull the bun off. So he gets the free kick. Goes out wide. He's got the comb over, man. Brushed, brushed it again. Yes. So... Nicky Ingram, one of our favourites here on the call to all HFL Media Trust. Enjoying the coverage. Puts up the big man, Das comes lumbering out. Kepper next to him. Oh, oh a big fight from Levens from Buckley. the side. Got it down to Buckley. What's it for him? He gathers the ball. He's dispossessed there. Good pressure there. Oh, good work for your Raider as they work it out of defence. Ends up with Ivans. Chips up the line to Kyle Sutton. Arches the back as he breaks clear. Puts up here and comes steaming out. It's big Trav. Smoking Trav. Grabs the ball. He wastes no turn. Jeez, he gives Amato a big task. Says he puts the ball out in front of him. Cruel bounce. So as he's uh, well guarded there. Coming in also to Stallion. Experience there as he hands the ball off to his uh, teammate. He clears the Hop ball, good. but up here it finds uh, young Will Young on the wing area. Sends the Demons back inside 50. Stallion getting back camping on it. Eyes for the ball as it comes over the back. Taken by Hanby. His kick is actually intercepted by Halliday. Something special. No. Ooh. Just not your Aylers day. As, uh, that would have been sensational. Finished by Halliday, but uh, hit the post. Some good work by Handorf there. They were even third man back there. It's one on one, and the third player back there was Big Roberts from Handorf, working really hard to get back and help his back line. So Handorf 10 11, needing your aid to 5 8. Three and a half minutes gone, final term, 2018 grand final. Ashley Eckerman with the kick in for Handorf. Ivan's flew over the top of uh, Cooper Nykamp. Ball hits the deck. Travis Oakley's wrapped up in the tackle by Scott Perling. And umpire comes in and says, I'll have it. As Pistol said, 10 11, Handorf, 5 8, your Aidler. We've gone four minutes in the Handorf final quarter here. Braden Hopgood going to the bench with a bit of a limp. Yeah, that was a bit of a clash earlier on. Remnant handles out towards uh, Halliday for Uradler. Has a flying shot at goal from the Yench uh, area where he kicked the goal in the third. In the back. Push in the back. And it's a free kick here for Handorf. Last line of defence to Joel Leak. You just look at some of these uh, guys in the Uradler side, boys. Uh, Simon Ebert, 34. Jared McDonald, 34. Travis Oakley, 34. Of course, Ivan's 35, the senior... Uh, Citizens, uh, be interesting to see. Will they go around next year? Could be changes a uh, abroad. Well, they've already had a major change with uh, the Bangkok built and uh, hanging up the yep. uh, yeah. hanging up the ticket box. Well, the good thing for them is today's result. The under 18s, those young yeah. kids, they're ready to take their Look spot. At the positives for the club certainly as the ball comes out here, half uh, wing area, taken there by Hankin. Goes across and finds big Daniel Roberts. Comb over's on. Gives it a Yedge. Yedge gets it out to the comb over at Ingram. He's got space to burn as he gets it. to have a bounce. Trying to draw his opponent, which he does. Mussolino. Gets it across here to Mussolino. He's got pace too. He has a bounce. Off he goes. Will he complete a Manassa run? Has a shot. I tell you what, that oh. is a magnificent finish. Ada Mussolino. Great finish there, Shane Collins. Some yeah. of the young guns for Handoff getting involved yeah, there. sensation. Nick Ingram, what a second half of footy he's played. I know we like to take the P155 out of him a bit, but he's played a really good half of footy, and uh, he's been using the ball really well off that wing, and um, he's really taken the game on. Well, that's another thing we've got to... Uh, well, we don't have to uh, select it, but uh, just speculate about the uh, winner of the Alec Parker Award and also the uh, $250 voucher from our good friends at... Uh, Flight Centre boys, uh, just have a thought about who. Uh, like last week we got it wrong, although we thought we got it right. <laughs> we got it right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we did get it right. Gets the ball down, taken by Anby. Coming into the game stronger as, he, as it goes on. Comes back to D-Rob. 
comes to Yedge. He's wrapped up in a tackle by Tudor Source, who flings him to the cricket pitch. Big Daniel Roberts goes down as well. So the boys will pick themselves up right in the centre of the cricket pitch area. A bit funny, boys. Dust from the cricket pitch last week. We had uh, hail out there, Colo. Yeah. One stage it looked like a snowman running around out there last week. As the ball comes down, McDonald, he's dispossessed. Big Daniel Roberts just forces the ball forward. First to get there will be Thomas. Shows his class as he goes backwards to go forward. He finds Renshaw and turn gets a handball across to Ivans, who's buttled his guts out this afternoon. Gets the ball at the wing. He's dangerous. I think it's Halliday set upon. And the umpire will come in and ball Just talking about their best player on the ground. The difference being Handel for probably got 10 or 12 that could win it. If it was the other way around, the Raider have probably got two to three blokes that have played up to their standards today. Looks like Buckley a little bit uh, groggy out there. Yeah, uh, Goldie and also one. Raider player. He's been good. He's been up. good today, Matt, so. Buck Matt Buckley. Yeah, he's yeah. played really well. Him and Renshaw just had a head clash there. Yeah, there. Renshaw, is it? Yeah, he's down on all yeah. haunches. Uh, we don't want to see that sort of stuff. And the Buckley, in fact, going off. So hopefully he's all right. Boundary throw in centre wing just in front of Matt Golding and the coaching staff at Harndorf. Ball hits the deck. Buckley and the Pies winning premierships. Sounds good, doesn't it, well, uh, it's got, Pistols? It's got an iconic tone to it. Ominous. Yeah. ominous. So, action back here at Lobethal. Harndorf on their way to their 10th HFL A grade Division 1 premiership, which will make them the most successful club in the league since uh, 1967, its formation. They currently hold nine, of course, with Uradler. And also, he filled all gate who won uh, nine in 11 years and a pretty good effort back in the day. So, ruck duel. Robert's still leaping. So is Young. Ball comes down. Scrambly play at ground level. And once again, the umpire will come and uh, ball it up right in front of the timekeeper's box. The uh, Hills Footy Flicks timekeeper's box this afternoon. Yeah, Goldie. Roy's up there having a film, so that'll be available on uh, hillsfooty.com, I presume, during the week. Meantime, free kick here for... Will Young, the ruckman for your Raiders, had to basically carry it all day without Matt Down. He goes the high ball, inside attacking 50. Oakley, the intended target. Good spoil by the Handorf defence. And it's held up 45 metres out from goal for your Raidler. Still wonderful conditions here at uh, Lobethal in the Valley of Praise for this Division 2, sorry, Division 1. A grade grand final here on HFL Media Trust. You've enjoyed uh, coverage today and also right through the season. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. Ruck Jewel Roberts fists the ball out wide. Clearing kick from Dylan Madsen out towards the wing area. Sacks on the mill. Fed over the top here. Das. To Das, showing a bit of pace here. The big man, he's clear now. He can have a bounce as he runs towards goal. From 45, he unleashes Missed towards an unmanned square. And he's actually hit the uh, boy behind post on the full. So. Out of bounds right next to the uh, scoreboard, which reads Handoff 11 11. Uh, you're able to 5 8. Eight and a half minutes gone, final term of the grand final. Luke Ivans with the free kick just around from the scoreboard. So, as you said, nine minutes gone in the final term. So, Ivans, not Ivan, a lot off and off for him. Ivans kicks the ball out towards the Zilla Pavilion. And a good mark there by Tudor. Or, oh, no, advantage play on. Flicks it on. Collected here by Vergara, under pressure. Tried to get it to Madsen on that left boot. Kicks the ball inside, attacking 50. Uh -huh. Hamby went up. Ball hits the deck. Hankin was on the scene. Ball shovel out here. It's about 30 metres out now from Handorf's goal directly in front. 11-11, Handorf, 5-8, Uradler. I tell you what, Colo, it'll be interesting. Uh, Handorf in the uh, Mad Monday or whatever, Silly Sunday celebrations. If the uh, Clippers come out, there'll be a few blokes running for cover. I'd, I'd suggest <laughs> Handorf, Vergara, Madsen. Anyway... Action with Kepper, Patrick Kepper, running the ball, half-back flank area, has a bounce, has another bounce, draws an opponent, puts it over the top, but a bit of a wobbly kick, and finds a man who doesn't have to worry about the Clippers and Toy. Yeah, he won't have a problem. Parker Byers threads his way through, and chips and lifts the eyes and finds David Hankin virtually on the centre wing area. Eckerman out here in front of the Dreammaker, offering boot, but Hankin goes short, in fact, finds Klubernick, so Klubernick goes bang with an attempted barrel, gets onto it, down towards Oakley. Good spoil there from Leek. First recovery is Oakley. Here's a chance on the run. And the big man sets it forward. I tell you what, that's a good finish by the big boy. It uh, looks like Young Leek down with a bit touch of crap, but a good finish from uh, Oakley there. Yeah, it was a good finish. He's a class player. Um, plenty of years at uh, the elite level of footy here in South Australia and done a great job for the Uradler Football Club in recent years. Third goal for the day. Uh, yeah, he, he's, done a, he's done a good job. They've just been starved of uh, too much ball in the middle two quarters of the game. and. And uh, that's sort of affected your Raiders' ability to get on the scoreboard. But one thing I will say today, I don't know why so many Hardnoff blokes wear long sleeve Guernseys. It's uh, quite a warm day today, and uh, oh, yeah. certainly playing footy in a jumper would be a different call. Well, might be their little thing that they enjoy the uh, sleeves. So back in the centre. 
It's actually Yedge going for the ruck there. Uh, that'd be a first, I think. Matty yeah. Yedge contesting the ruck, but in the meantime... Uh, Oh, there's confusion. He's won the free kick. The umpire, uh, the boundary confusion. umpire, the academy boy, he's, uh, the academy he's boy. had a meltdown in the final he's, game of the year. He's, he's gone to water. I'll tell you what, Colo, you have to write a report on this and send it to the oh. academy principal. Oh, hello. So all up. So uh, Yedge saying, I got the ball. What's going on here? Uh, you're able free. Oh. Well. <laughs> so anyway, confusion reigns, but not on the scoreboard where it's clear cut, hard off 11-11, leading to raid the 6-8. So young Will Young drives the demons inside 50. Pat Gabbers in front and taking a good mark there. Looks like... Uh, Yep, Roberts. Yep, Luke Roberts takes the Up mark. The Luke variety. Luke Roberts takes the mark. Sent half back goes out towards Ingram. Two on one. It'll be uh, brought to ground level by Ivans, and he's wrapped up in a tackle there by Eckerman. Oh, and, and uh, he has a move. I know he's had a history of concussion. Now Ivans, and he has not. Yeah, that was moved. A, he's starting to roll over now, but uh, yeah. At a high level of football, that would probably give you about three weeks that tackle. Absolutely. Uh, yes. We're not even a free kick here in the HFL. He is a bit groggy, boys. As, uh, as we know, that's why he wears the helmet and had a history at, at uh, SNFL. But he gets up, he's tough as uh, tough as old boots, that guy. Anyway, Ruck Jewel comes out towards Lee Belt. He's held up in a tackle by Yench. Goes to ground as uh, coming back holding yeah, you his head. You don't want to play around with your head. That's exactly right. So Ivans. I tell you what, uh, even though it's a losing side, boys, the Lukey Ivans could be well up there for the uh, Parker Award. Oh, I know absolutely. they don't give it a losing but he's been yep. uh, fantastic here this afternoon for his he, team. But unfortunately... He's uh, certainly been the leading your Adler player today, I would have thought. Him yep. and Amato have been outstanding. So the ball on the inter uh, of the, uh, grand of the uh, outer side wing area, and it's fumbled towards the boundary line by Madsen. Just love it when people smoke right near you, don't you? Well, I'll tell you what, the, uh, the chimney at this <laughs> crowd must be doing supper over here because, as I said, she's uh, blind pretty well, the old Pope chimney. Boundary so, throw in, centre wing. It'll be, oh, that's thrown oh, out of the ruck contest. Well, yeah, just in kick. frustration, just uh, barreled uh, Lukey Roberts out the way. Yep, and he'll take so, the free uh, kick from that Luke, boundary throw in. Lukey Roberts has been pretty handy after that shoulder injury in the uh, late in the year, so it's good to see him back on the park and playing in yet another flag for the Pies. Big high kick towards half forward. Here's Ivans, he's recovered. Uh, big dart over the top, one grab, two grab, and the big man takes the mark. Already with five on the board. This will be beyond his distance, I think, Shane Collins. So Although he's run around the man on the mark. Goes bang, but uh, he gets the uh, Bronx cheers from the array the crowd, but I suggest in about 15 oh, minutes. Oh, as he clap, gets, I think, <laughs> think Dars will be having a premiership medal around Yeah, this I think so. Dars gives him a clap. So Renshaw with a little short pass out towards a teammate in Kepper. Has a bounce past the charcoal chicken. Kicks it out towards the Zilla Pavilion area. Coming off the scene there was Watton. Quick handballs to teammate Clements. Ian Thomas. Up the wing area. Nice little pass finds Walters. He's keen to move it on quickly, oh. but he slipped over and he's wrapped up in the tackle. Ah, he's lucky there because he was off. And uh, young Vigara, I think, came over the top of him and infringed him because, uh, well, how do you tackle him, I? That's right. <laughs> Smallest ground, man on the ground. Gets the ball out here towards Thomas, I think it is. Or Watton, sorry. Goes inside. Half forward flank area and a good mark taken out by uh, Big Trav, who's certainly playing out this game, Colo. Yeah, he is. He's doing uh, a lot of pride in Big Trav, and he's showing that in the way he's playing. Shoots the ball back towards the run of Watt, and he gets a favourable bounce. Tries to go inboard. The kid. kick was deflected. Good interception there by the Magpies. Young comes in there as well. Oh, crashing his way through there was Buckley as he goes to ground, but ball coming back out towards Hankin in front of the Zilla Pavilion, if you can and see him smoking. with the smoke. I thought it was a fire band day today, boys, as the ball comes up. Here's Dars. What's he going to do? Gets around that left. Has he got space? He does. Oh, he's Strikes off in the middle. Has a bounce. This, this Runs get... it to 45. Straight out front. Sets oh, it. Oh. I'll tell you what, he's missed that one. He would have loved to kick that one. Collar I suggest he would have come running over to the boundary line. And, I uh, think. Got the double copper, but in this case, it's yeah, like... Yeah, the, the that double copper might have been coming this way, I reckon. If he gets one more, he might get the medal. How many does he kick? Five? Five, yeah. yeah. Pretty handy performance. So, kick out from Braden Renshaw, who's recovered, thankfully, from that heavy knock he had before. Gets it out wide, but uh, Matty Yedge, who's all over the ground uh, in the distance here. Just putting up a smoke screen so you can't see the opposition. Something North Adelaide should have done last week, uh, Colo. Yeah. So they couldn't see the extra man. Anyway. Can you see him? Matty Where is Yedge. he? Yeah, right in front of the Zilla uh, Pavilion. Sets the ball. will sit up across half forward. Hankins lurking over the top was Luke Roberts. Ball spills the ground, leading the race for the ball. Close to the line. Comes back here, it's a chance for Ivan's ball, eludes him with a cruel bounce. Here oh, comes here the he big goes. Dars. What can he do this here time? He's got space, he turns. Oh, oh. Good smother there by Clements. Comes back to Madsen. 
takes the ball. He'll show him how to... No, so handoff. Similar to last year, Goldie just blazing. Yeah. but uh, yeah, blazing, the blazing towards the same end. How many points are they kicking this time? Four? One goal, three. One goal, three. Yeah, one goal, Still three. should be all right, 16-minute mark. You'd think so, so uh, not going to cost them. Renshaw with the kick in, goes the short option, finds McDonald. Moves it on quickly for Uraila, finds Thomas. Right half-back flank with Aiden Mussolini on the mark. Gone. Great tackle. Holding the ball. Mussolino will go back on his left. Short pass, Sam Williams. He's played well today, young Mussolino. I reckon his, yeah. his speed out on that wing's been sensational. They've actually really hurt your radar on the wings today. Um, Some of know. these Handorf kids have been Yeah, uh, they've been yeah. sensational. The As bottom said, six or eight players for Handorf. I think that was uh, epitomised there as a couple of his teammates come over and patted him on the head yep. for his effort there, Shane Collins. So Sam Williams uh, just caught up his stats. Oh, here. it's on Amato and uh, Hankin. There was a bit of push and shove between the two of them. And, uh, looks like one of the kept. Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 now there's a fight. Nick Hankin Nick coming in there, and i tell you what. Bit of an ugly scene in there, boys. It's uh, the Hankin boys versus uh, Eurader, I'd suggest. Yeah, Ivans and Hankin. Re really surprising, but you've called that right. So Nick Hankin keen to get in there, make some sort of influence this afternoon. <laughs> and i tell you what, uh, rolling sort of uh, TV ringside back in the old days. The umpire, meanwhile, the action is with Williams, who's gone back and kicked Eurader's 12th goal. Yeah, Hankin and uh, Amato, that, uh, that's still going, still festering here, boys. And uh, Apoi Smith is uh, calling Hankin's for something. Going, the card's I think. coming up. He's, blood uh, rule. Blood rule. Blood rule, is it? Just you, you get blood noses in the hot weather every now and then. Oh, that's oh, oh we had another one. McDonald uh, and uh, Nick yeah. Hankin just having a bit of a chat. J Mack not one to take a backward step. That's, uh, well, it's all happening over here. Tell you what, some interest in the game as Handoff have moved to 12 13 to your eight to 6 8, 17 minutes gone, and a uh, little bit of spite creeping into the game here in the dying stages. Handoff are going to win the Premiership, but your eight are, as they say, uh, Colo, they're going to go down swinging. Well, yeah, and I didn't mean it in that text, I must no, say. No, I no, didn't no. think that. But, <laughs> we know what you mean. Um, but look, uh, yeah, David Hankin, and full credit to him, when you're winning, you know, you're going to win a Premiership like this, you can probably say what you like, and no doubt he's um, he's done that, and it's reflected in, Hunt, in your eight frustrations. So back in the it, Daniel Roberts and Will Young to do battle as they've done all afternoon. Roberts gets the ball down, busting his way forward. It was Hamby got the ball to Madsen. Dylan Madsen drives the Magpies inside. 50 coming across to take the mark is Robbie Kepper. Hits the ground running. Feeds out the handball to run of Tudor. Michael Tudor down towards the interchange wing area. Come out as Trav Oakley. Good defensive spoil out there by very very impressed with his game this afternoon though. Parker Bowes. Yeah, he's been, he's been good. Good defensive spoil there by the young man. Another one of that flock of junior magpies, isn't he? Well, they had all that premiership success at junior level, and uh, now it's transferring through. So that could be scary for a few uh, opposition clubs over the next few years. Remnant tries to fire his way through. Finally, a teammate barrels the ball forward. Here's a chance for Yentz. He'll be the first to get the ball playing right last line of defence. Closing is Oscar Waters. Yentz just uh, very uh, nonchalantly takes the ball and concedes the uh, minor score. So you're ready to move on to 6 9, Handorf at 12 13. 18 and a half minutes gone, final term, Division 1 A grade football with the Hills Football League. So Jens will kick the ball outside the defensive 50. A couple of players went up there, ball hits the deck. Collected here by Remnant, he's thrown to the ground by Nick Hankin. Trying to come through with Renshaw, handles over the top to McDonald, is it? Yep. Kick inside attacking 50. Run out, run out, run out, run out. Coming through there was a uh, handle player and he's wrapped up in the tackle yes. that was Matty Yench yes, so an yes. opportunity here for Uraila from uh, 50 metres pretty solid he's pinned for holding the ball was uh, Dale Lever oh, betting pretty heavily but uh, the result in free kick is going to the young man uh, young Oscar Oscar Walters, yep. Oscar Walters. he's tried out isn't he little fella yeah probably getting a ride tomorrow at Narracourt races I was going to tomorrow. suggest that Colo yeah. get him up there at Gawler so Oscar Walters close the man on the mark sets towards the top of the square not a bad kick oh. Off hands and through for a minor score. So 6 10 Uradler, hard off 12 13 since uh, half time, boys. Uradler have added two goals, six. Hard off have added uh, six goals, seven. So just the dominance in uh, scoring at opportunities. One point the margin at um, quarter time, pistols, of course. Yep. So, All yeah, right. one point. And it was 14 points at half time and uh, 33 at the last change. And uh, Eagles 88, Melbourne 32. Well, these on the fight back. Yeah. 
clearing kick out of defence from Harndorf. Went down the throat of, I think, Kepper. Kicks the ball inside, attacking 50 deep. Good mark. Oakley, is it? Yep, tumbling mark by uh, oh. Big Trap. Takes Free a kick. kick mark. Well, scoring uh, the Stallion. The Stallion's got the, uh, yeah, obviously infringed him, perhaps. So, uh, Scotty Perling. So, this is flag number three. Three for the Stallion. Scotty Perling. Puts the ball up the uh, halfback flank here. Big leap oh. there. Oh, I got his hands to it, I think. It was, uh, You'd say it with your Roberts, Roberts yeah. It? Luke, on that occasion. Bit of cramp. Like he's bit of cramp there from Luke. But, uh, trying to emulate his brother's uh, performances. So he gets up and, no, he's all right as he runs it off. Trying to emulate his brother's uh, heroics in the last quarter in 2015, Goldie. Yeah. When they came from behind to beat Uradler in that grand final. But on this occasion, they virtually uh, will have led all the way. Just about Darcy Hurrigan kicked the first goal on the two-minute mark. And since then... The Magpies have just uh, swooped with great consistency. Will Young brings the ball down. Quickly cleared away towards the flank area. Looks like Williams out there, close to the interchange. And the ball bundled over the bound line. So we'll have a boundary throw in. Mm. Coming up to 21. 21 minutes gone. Goldie and the Harndorf will win their uh, third flag in four years, I believe. 12-13, leading your aid to 6-10 here on HFL Media. Colo, uh, as we tick into the final well period of the season, any, any uh, thoughts yeah, that you'd like to... and the season's form's probably hung true here in Div 1 this year, and Hunter have been dominant all year and thoroughly deserved this premiership, and it's a time now for the players and the coaching staff to really enjoy the last few minutes, and uh, it's been a huge effort by... Uh, we said today the whole footy club, although they missed out in the other four games, but what a great effort for them to get all five in the grand final, and to Shane, win the big one matters. Shane, you've been out there, so you get this stage of the game, uh, as it come out 22 minutes last quarter, 12-13 to 6 10, so you're six goals up. You're not going to lose. Uh, you start to celebrate, or you still got a job to do? Yeah, you start to think how you're going to ring the boss and get Monday, Tuesday off, and what you're going to, what the week's going to look like. But um, yeah, you do. Now you look to your teammates and you enjoy it. And probably at the time, especially those young kids out here for Handoff, they may not realise, but this moment will stay with them forever. And um, but those experienced boys that have worked so hard, they'll know how how big this will be for them. Paul comes out here to ring him, sells a bit of dummy candy as he gets it back into Madsen, running through the centre, gets the ball up. Oh, oh that's a great mark by Lukey, yeah. Trick. Yeah, Roberts goes back for taps the ball down, goes back. Oh, that's three or four efforts by Luke Roberts. Oh, he's given away the free kick, but uh, great it's grab there by Luke. Amount of dust coming off that Sticky pitch, finger, it? yeah. It's Renshaw, goes across the ground here, finds Tudor, who was very good in that Sand first off, half, so. goes wide out here and finds Robbie Kepper. Kepper going short up the line. Ekerman. He misses the target. And Thomas and tipping in take the mark is Eckerman right in front of the adoring Harndorf crowd on the grassy knoll here on the King Wing. So Harndorf, not long to wait, and they'll be celebrating the flag as he kicks the ball and stretching up high. And, uh, it's uh, Williams, isn't it? Mussolino. Mussolino, he's been very uh, pretty handy this afternoon. So Mussolino goes back across to Williams on this occasion. So Williams, all the time in the world, he won't be in a hurry to get it on. So Williams with the ball, goes with another short pine pass, just waxing it here, hard off, taken by Parker Bowers. He goes back to Williams on the uh, centre wing. So just uh, keep his off. It's money time now for just, him, and uh, congratulations warning, to him. It's good, down nice and enjoyable. 24, <laughs> min, 24 minute mark, Harndorf uh, 12 13, you're able 6 10. Williams oh, with well, the kick, over. here's a chance oh. for comb over. Oh. Run, brushes a couple of side, kicks the ball to within 20 metres oh, out. Darcy one on one or one on two. Oh, like Gone yeah, off yeah, hands yeah. minus Simon score. Eber. Haven't seen a lot of him this afternoon. No, Colin, Simon Eber. One of his big games. Just got the mail through, boys. The mighty Imperials won by two points in the River Murray. So, so there you go, boys. A wooden spoon last year to a premiership. Gee, got rid of their coach. Well done to him. Well, done right. a great There's job. Astute men running that blues up there. So congratulations to uh, hey man, Big Johnny. He'll be uh, up and about. You can yeah. Six, the, the big rat. Oh. So six. Yep. Ah, well, be double cobras all night. They suggest he loves that, uh, it. Johnston Park tonight. Meanwhile, ball went wide. Kovinik trying to work hard. The Eurade the skipper front of the uh, coaching box, gets a handball back into a teammate, in turn gets it on to Watton, Watton chips at further field, looking for Oakley, Eddie, still Eddie. working hard, the veteran, ball comes to the ground, another veteran there in Perling, comes out with the ball, puts it out wide to boards a big Rob, big Daniel Roberts takes a mark. So Imperial Football Club, well done. You there. know you're gone when your son turns to you and goes, Dad, you must have been a bad coach. Oh. <laughs> Well, we saw it, young Tate's come along and leaps and bound here in the <laughs> corner of the wild doing the special comments, i tell you what, we'll be getting hold of him. But oh, he's got the wrong hat. Tell him to put that Collingwood hat on for next week. <laughs> As the ball kicked in the centre of the ground, kept under it. Uh, good oh, mark. Oh, Cooper Nykamp. Cooper Nykamp just showing his aerial skills there. Just right uh, the centre of the ground. Lobethal coached Rich Dickie oh, Clement. He knows our premiership maybe next year. You go bottom to top. So, ball chipped <laughs> forward. Comes here to Hankin. Headband is after the, the earlier uh, Staus. Wins a free kick. So, David Hankin. Perhaps similar situation yeah, last same, year, same, Basically same position. 
I'd David say. A little bit further it. out where he missed. Yeah. So Do you think he's trying to straighten the angle up here? Has kicked the goal for the <laughs> match as they kicked 46 for the season, boys. So, yeah. David Hankin. He'll get a bit of, of advice course, here. He'll get a plenty of advice here from the Demons crowd behind him. As he did last year, I believe, same position for the yeah, same, crowd. Same, basically same spot as last year, just a little bit further out. So this would be the icing on the cake for Hankin. Uh, well, you know, so uh, much, 12 mu months to the day, basically. So much the villain this afternoon, left footer. Oh. Same spot. And I tell you what, it won't uh, concern him uh, very much. And, uh, not long to go, and he'll be cracking the champagne as I move on to 12-16 to 6-10. So, so Handorf. Chipped the ball to himself, is that Tudor? Gets himself some room and then goes bang down the centre of the ground. Direction here of Liebelt. Getting back there is also Leek. Yep. Well done by Liebelt. Outmanoeuvres looking for support. Goes to the ground, could have been holding the ball. Finally gets the ball out to Klubinik. He's Tackled hey, by oh, Roberts, shrugs it off. They're letting it flow now. The umpires comes back here to Moucho. He gets a quick kick away. Bounce up towards Ivans, comes to meet it. Bounce eludes him, falls to Hanby. Hanby's got Hankin's a man out. loose, which is Hankin. He's got another Hankin chance. takes the mark and runs into towards an opening. Yep. This time and on the left foot. Now he's kicking. And here he comes. Oh, oh he's giving oh, it. He's got the David Copper. Well, I tell you what. Uh, <laughs> interesting uh, celebration there by David Hankin. Just saying, maybe you kick one or two. I don't know That's what he's... he's yeah, two goals he's signaling there, I think. He's kicked for the afternoon. <laughs> But uh, to be fair, that is the game there, Handorf. That you're able to go through the middle field there, had open play. The decision making wasn't right. Handorf all over him. Great tackle, turnover pressure, and uh, away they go. And typifies the year. Well done to the Pies. So 13 15, Handorf Magpies. You're able to 6 10. Only the two goals in the second half. And uh, well, the side with the break, and you're able to fought their way through pretty manfully. In fact, uh, some seven, eight weeks ago, uh, Shane, they were looking like they might even miss the top five, but yeah, uh, managed to get a top job. three spot, and uh, full credit oh, to them. There we go. And there it goes. In the background, you can probably hear the uh, euphoria from the Handorf supporters and players. Uh, on the other side of the coin next to us, it's a dead step pilot silence here, uh, Colo. Yeah, it is. Man. It's like the crowd at one of your stand-up shows. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I must say, though, one thing, I don't reckon it's going to bother your Adler in their celebrations tonight no. after the day they've had. <laughs> Two but, flags uh, for the, uh, full credit uh, to Handorf. They've dominated today's game. First 15 minutes, to your Raiders' credit, they were up and about. But um, it didn't take long for Handorf to get the ascendancy, and away they went, and thoroughly deserve it. So in the end, uh, seven goal, five. Yeah, yeah see how you go. So 47-point uh, margin, I'd suggest. The that's all right. So uh, a pretty good win. And uh, Goldie, of course, is the uh, well, soft spot for Handorf from a... Uh, champion with them in the junior grade. That was a good win uh, in the end, Pistols, and you want to... What did make... Uh... <laughs> Some sign language going on there. Um, what do we got here? Final quarter stats. And we've just got the printout, and thank you very much for Rob Shearwood supplying the computer here. Uh, so, good work, Rob. So overall inside 50s, 58 to 32, Rob? Yes, absolutely. And the Ruck, uh, Ruck Chaps, 65, 16. Total 65 domination. 65 to 16, that's an amazing stat in Rucks, as we thought, as you said, the loss of Matty Down was going to affect it, and it's certainly big time. And uh, Daniel Roberts with some uh, backup from his brother Luke. So, uh, yeah. Oh, just out there? It's the Colonel. We'll get the Colonel uh, on the job. Have we still got colour one, just in case he gets someone? Yeah, Colonel's yeah. locked in here. Just a uh, bit of technical talk here in the we background. Uh, I'll just go out there and just get the Prezos on the lights. Yeah, go All ahead. All right, Colonel, you do what you want to. Because <laughs> we won't be right about it next week, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah. yeah Rob, just turn this down. Sure, if you got me out of your pistols. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, you, Colonel. Hang yep. on. Just out near the Where are Rob? Rob? Here. It's, uh, yeah, that's pandemonium, right, Rob. it's fair to say. There's plenty of plenty of uh, jumping around there's plenty of beer being thrown around and there's uh, a lot of yelling and screaming and celebrating and uh, I know it's been a hot day but everyone's now drowned in their in their uh, champagne and beer that's flowing out here so Handorf are certainly celebrating there's a big crowd of people around on the cricket pitch area here a lot of supporters a lot of kids Handorf Football Club is known for its great junior policy and the amount of kids that play at their footy club and uh, what a fantastic thing for them to they, to enjoy and see their heroes win an A-grade A -grade flag. So uh, I'll just see if I can uh, yeah. try and squeeze in and grab an interview with someone in a minute, mate. So I might just cross back to you yeah, quickly right. and um, I'll see if I can grab someone in out of this mess. Sounds good, Carlo. Oh, right. So we're...
where fresh as and we knew in the second half we'd run over him and that's what we did. An exciting thing for the Hunter Rugby Club. Geez, those kids in the A grade, unbelievable. Like five yeah. teams in today, okay, we'd get the results in the other grade, but those young lads in the A grade must be exciting for you. Yeah, they stepped up massively, especially in the in the semi. They were the, they were the guys that won us the game. Cooper and I can't got best on and he took like 10 contested marks he really stepped up even and, actually uh, in the uh, on the scene yeah the scene and there's a crowd down there as uh, the official presentations are taking part so final score Handorf 13 15 have defeated your to 6 10 goal kickers uh goldie for Handorf das yep. yeah man big das i saw him during the week and he was uh Said, you know, he's quietly confident, but uh, wary of what Uralia could do. Mm -hmm. He finished with five, so uh, finished off pretty good. See, 116 goals for the year, Goldie. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be happy with that. Uh, David Hankin with two, mm -hmm. and singles to Luke Roberts, Nye Camp, Matty Yench, Hanby, and Mussolino, and Williams. Mm -hmm. And for Uralia, only to six goals, but Trav Oakley, what a good game by him up there under, you know, focal point target. He had all the uh, key defenders on him, he kicked three. Ivans, who was inspirational, was the coach all day with one, Kluvenek, and also Nick Amato, but only two goals in the second half. It's not going to win you too many grand finals, I, no, I suggest, my good man. So. No, good win, but Uradler will be happy with the uh, with the day, I reckon. We get a few yeah. uh, photos here. Just there. there. Yeah, winning the senior Colts and reserves, so yeah, good just, signs. Good yeah, signs quite right. Just recapping, Mount Barker winning the mini Colts. Well done to them. Blackwood, the football club, the junior Colts. Senior Colts going to Mount... Uh, sorry, uh, Uradler, first one since 1999. Reserves to Uradler in undefeated fashion, so well done to them on an undefeated season. And, uh, of course, the big one here, 47-point win yep. to the Handor Football Club. So uh, we'll just wait and see if uh, Colo can uh, grab anyone else. Perhaps the skipper, Matty Yedge, may be above. Actually, I spoke to Matthew before the game, uh, Goldie, and uh, so he you said saw, he was You saw Darcy during the week. He kicks five, and you've seen Matthew today, and he's kicked one of the goals of the season. Yeah, Matthew I reckon there's a, a bit of colo about me. Yeah, yeah just uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit of mentoring, but uh, he was saying that they were... Um, uh, he was really nervous. He said, yeah. I didn't sleep so well. He said, I've been so nervous. I found it hard to believe a man who's played on the highest stage of... Uh, football in the land but uh, he said yeah they're just a bit worried I suppose, I suppose after last year uh, Goldie the, the fear of failure maybe Pistols you got me there guys sorry to break in I'm just lucky enough to grab the bus man for two minutes Graham Case how good's that Case mate what a great great job by your A grade yeah it was um, I, you know I honestly thought we'd struggle today well, they've been pretty good against us all year but uh, some fantastic efforts by our young kids today, you know, Matty Vergara and, uh, you know, two or three of those other young boys, just outstanding today. I concur with that. I reckon players like Buckley, you know, um, those guys, just fantastic. He just played his role today on Ivans, and that was the difference between the two sides, and you've got to be proud of that, that, you know, you're not just a one or two player side. You've, all these young kids make a massive difference to your success. Yeah, they do, and that's why we had a little article in the paper this week, and I said, you know, it's come from our juniors. And uh, we had, I think, seven or eight or nine even kids under 23. And these kids that have played through our junior ranks, been to town, come back, and, uh, you know, it all goes well for the club. I mean, we're a bit disappointed we didn't get five out of five, but we're getting a bit greedy, mate. <laughs> but, uh, you know, to get, uh, to get the main dance, I guess, is the one you're after. That's so true, and, and you can keep looking on that perspective going forward. The kids, obviously, your 16s, your 18s, super competitive, yeah. elite players, and your twos as well. So this is only a grounding, I reckon, for what can happen for the future. Yeah, that's right. And you know, Colo, what clubs are like and how they run. And, you know, if you've got good junior Junior product, you're always going to go well, I believe, anyway. So we're, going to, we're going to keep working on that. We're yeah. not going to change things. Much. And it's spot on. It was interesting before when the players there, and I just said to my young boy there, all the young kids, all the Handorf kids around there, 9, 10, 11, 12, watching their heroes win a flag, that's got to be amazing for you guys. Yeah, it is. And uh, as I say, it's just uh, it's a lot of hard work. And, uh, you know, we've got a great junior program, and, and that's where it all starts, I believe. So And, yeah, and all you know, the work you've done, mate? your award. Yeah, well, it's going to be nice. I wasn't too happy at about half past two when we, had, we hadn't got one of the first four, but they were going to struggle anyway, I think. Let's be honest. We weren't, uh, we weren't lay down bazaars in any of those. So to get the big dancers uh, is pretty good. Yep. Thanks so much for giving us a couple of minutes of your time, mate. We really appreciate it. Congratulations. You've done a stellar job with the footy club and enjoy the next few days. I'm going to, mate. I, uh, I haven't been allowed to have a drink while I've been here, so I'm going to have a few tonight, I can tell you. <laughs>
<laughs> good on the cars. Congratulations, mate. Well done. So we're very lucky there to get a couple of the key Hondorf people. The presentations are still continuing in the background here. And uh, obviously a lot of emotion and uh, a lot of positive feeling and love for the boys in the Hondorf Football Club. And uh, full credit to them. They thoroughly deserve it. So, uh, all right, boys, I might drop back to you guys in the uh, Dream Maker for a roundup, and I'll come and uh, catch you in a minute. So he's a happy man, and before that, of course, was uh, Luke Roberts. I'm going to go to the Thank you. 